Kate. Jim. Lyriel one wow. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Hello everyone. And welcome to Inscription. <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Welcome. Amazing intro. Look, I, I loaded the game up to check the settings and the, the audio levels and stuff. And this little thing started playing at the very beginning. I was like, well, I have to show that on stream. I have to show that on the screen. So I quickly closed the game and opened it again. And it happened again. So I was like, okay, I know how I'm starting. I know how I'm starting now. <laughs> but welcome, everybody. Welcome in. I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome. Welcome to, um, I'm really excited to play this game. I have heard that it's really good and I've had a lot of people specifically recommending it to me saying, Lyra, you got to play this. You're going to love it. So I'm very excited to check this out. I think like when I was first told about it, I looked at it and I was like, oh, this seems like the kind of thing that would be perfect for October for spooky month. I will save it until then. And then I proceeded to forget about it until I was trying to figure out my schedule for this month 
and I was reminded of this game. And so I'm going to play it and I'm very excited for it. <laughs> but welcome in everybody. Hello. Hello. It is I, Draculary. I am here. <laughs> Susan May, congratulations on the first. Hello, hello. Hello, Tim. I can't believe you've already bought your plane ticket for off guy. Like they, they just announced the date. <laughs> That's wild. That's amazing. But hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the, the eight gym doot. Welcome, Artem. Welcome, Grey Snow. Welcome on in. Welcome, Icy. Thank you so much for the reset for 21 months. That is so many months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. And Maya, hello. Won't be able to be here the whole time, but you know the game and you're interested. Oh, that I like to hear that. I like to hear that. <laughs> But even if you can't be here the whole time, the VODs will still be up. I will always be posting the VODs, so that's something to look forward to. And Primal Z, hello! Oh my goodness, wait, I'm chibi. Immediate chibi. <laughs> the immediate chibi. I've, I've also made the chibi seasonal as well, though. Uh, although the, the pumpkin's wiggling weirdly on my hat. I wonder if I can fix that. Maybe I can fix that. But yeah, I'm really excited for it. And uh, yes, I, I am going to be Draculary for the remainder of October. It is my new look for the, the month. Also, um, I put the temporary dye in my hair and it won't wash out until November. So I'm stuck like that. <laughs> but yes, also water as well. Hello. And TJM as well. Hello. I, I have played Pony Island before. I played it, I think it was two years ago now. It was one that I picked as one of the like October spooky month games. And I loved that game. Like, even though I'm abysmal at platforming in any kind of game, and I did get a little frustrated at the platformy parts, that game was so clever. And it was so cool. And uh, I've also played a couple of um, the, like, the free, like, Game Jam Daniel Mullins games before. Um, I'm still traumatized thinking about my bit buddy. <laughs> so I know it's it's going to be interesting. Like, it's it's a Daniel Mullins game. It's going to be interesting. So I'm I'm very excited to play it. Very, very excited. But Alphonse, thank you for the chibi redeem too. You can return to luck. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, it makes me happy to see you spending your points. <laughs> I'm very glad. Thank you. I have been squashed. Yeah, what? Oh, Chance of Senna. Oh, that game was so good. I, I, I want more of it. I want more of it. Bit Buddy Appreciation Gang. That, that game, like... Considering like how small it is really, that it had an impact. It had such an impact. Also, Brie, hello, the message is not pinned. I forgot to do it, but thank you. Thank you so much for reminding me. <laughs> no spoilies. I don't know anything about this game, except that it's by Daniel Mullins, so it's probably gonna be weird uh, in like the best way possible. And also that it's got cards. <laughs> It's a it's like a horror cards game that I'm very intrigued to know more about because I've genuinely like tried to avoid as much information as possible. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm a little bit scared, but mostly excited. Mostly excited. But uh yes, I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be good. I, I hope my brain cooperates, to be honest. Because uh, I've I've had a bit of a day today where um, my brain hasn't really been working properly. <laughs> maybe I've just been saving all of the brain cells for the stream right now. Maybe, maybe that's what it actually is. And it's all going to be fine. <laughs> but, uh, oh, did we ever reach a tower equals Babel connection in Senna? Well, I, oh, I can see that. I can see that, like Tower of Babel and stuff. But I... Babel, Babel? I, d I don't actually know how it's pronounced. Another one of those things that I've seen written down, and I never hear people actually say it out loud. But uh, I I had so much fun with Chance of Senna. I, I ended up getting all of the achievements in the end. And it, it was so interesting. I did not expect the end to go as it was. Also, Grace Snow, yes, thank you. That's one of the only other things I know, and it's a friend telling me, um, look out in Act 3. But I don't think I'll get to Act 3 in the first stream. I don't know how long the acts are. I don't know how many acts there are. But uh, that's I, I have been warned about um, potential personal leaks and stuff. So <laughs> thank you very much for mentioning it too, in case I wasn't aware. 
But that's one of the things I do know because uh, my friend was just like, I don't want to spoil you on anything, but there's a part in the game where it will ask to show your hard drive and it will actually show your hard drive. So stick everything on your D drive. And I'm like, okay, got it. Great. Thanks. <laughs> That's that's all I know. And also something with Steam Friends, I think. But there's so many games that do that now, too. But yeah, it's those are the kind of things I'd, I'd rather know before going into something. As opposed to suddenly, hey, look, personal information. Uh, I think it's fairly well signposted when it happens. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, I think my friend just said, um, when the game asks you to share your hard drive, um, that's, that's an actual thing. <laughs> That's, it's like an actual hard drive thing. And I was like, okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. But uh, I don't I don't know how long it's going to take me to play this game. I don't know how long the acts are going to take. I don't know how long they're going to take me. But knowing me and how slowly I play games, I don't think I'll get to that point in this stream. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's like 20 acts and I'll immediately get there. But I, I have been warned at least. But I'm really excited to check it out. Although, like, I... Where's my cursor gone? Here you are. Lyriel One Love. Yay! Thank oh, my goodness! Thank you for the resub for 17 months! Hello! Oh, my goodness, the Prime! I'm, I feel so proud you're going to get one of those. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, Mokem, for the, the 17 months. I, I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. But uh, one thing I will say that I did notice upon loading the game... Um, I've not played the game anymore, but the new game doesn't seem to work. <laughs> However, there is a continue. So, um, I guess I'm continuing because I can't start a new game, but I don't know what I'm continuing because I haven't done anything. So, I, oh, I guess we continue? Let us continue. Also, um, if the game is too quiet or too loud, please let me know too, because it's it's always really hard to tell. Like, because I don't know how loud I am. <laughs> so uh, please let me know if it needs adjusting at all, but hopefully it's okay. We will see. Let us continue. What am I continuing? Let's find out. Oh. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Yes, please do. I have no idea. Play the squirrel card. Squirrel? Okay, okay. Um, I will put you on the end. Now play your stoat. Um, okay. Oh! Okay. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Okay. The goodbye, squirrel. Uh. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Okay. Thank you, squirrel. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. And commence combat. Okay. I guess I, I ring the bell. Hello, squirrel. Goodbye, squirrel. Bing. Your stoat stands unopposed. Okay. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Oh, okay. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. Yeah, I don't think there is music at the moment. It's just like atmospheric background sounds and the warm every now and then. 
Also, Zarok, hello, welcome! Um, I, I would love to hear about Myst once I've done the tutorial for this game, but at the moment I'm learning how to play. <laughs> so my, my focus is on what is happening in the game, but welcome, welcome! Add it to the scale, one damage. You win if you tip my side all the way down. I see. This is interesting. Like, like this. I was about to say like that. <laughs> like this. Okay. My turn. Oh. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. Well, my stoat had three health at least. So my stoat's still standing. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. Oh, I'm back to back to normal now. I'm I'm large. <laughs> I'm not chibi anymore. Thank you for the chibi redeem. Back to Draculary. I I need my my full magical girl powers for this. Normal. Well, it it is normal for this month. I I just dyed my hair and got different colored accessories. <laughs> it's your turn again. Ooh. Okay. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Ooh. Let me look at my wolf. My wolf does three damage. That feels really good. Because, like, if I just draw another card, I might get something else that would be good. And my stoat can kill the coyote, because the coyote only has one health. And this does one damage. I'm pretty sure the tutorial wants me to draw a squirrel and play the squirrel so I can put a wolf down. I love this little model, too. Wait, that's so cute. You know what? I'm going to do it. How dull. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I took the boring option. I didn't want to risk it. Alright, so I guess... Wait, no, the wolf only has two health. I don't actually want to do that, I don't think. I don't think I want to play the wolf. I'm immediately probably overthinking the tutorial, but... um. I'm going to play the squirrel, but I'm not going to sacrifice it. I, I want to attack the coyote with my stoat. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. If I Then I ring the bell? Do I ring the bell after playing them? Yeah. Then my stoat attacks. Yep. Hee <laughs> hee. You know, you can play more than one card per turn, right? Because you are learning, I will pass. Yes, I didn't want to play the wolf. Because your coyote could kill my wolf in one hit. And now I've got two different things on the field. So I'm, I'm like body blocking. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to pay off. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, but it's worth a try. Because you are learning, I will pass. Okay, that's very nice of you. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck. Or the certainty of a squirrel. I'll go for the the random this time. Whoa! Whoa, this has got six health. Oh, th a tanky lad. The river snapper. Oh, I like this. Oh, because I saved my squirrel and my stoat, I can put this river snapper down. It's only one damage, but six health? I can protect myself a bit longer. I think that's what I want to do. River Snapper demands two sacrifices. I'm going to do that. Goodbye, Squirrel. Goodbye, Stoat. Oh, sorry. No, it's... A, no. Wait. The, the, no, I'm sorry, Stoat. You did great. You did great. I'm so sorry. No. Okay. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real. But you will see it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you were about to die anyway. Please. It's... it's... <laughs> oh, already. Already I see how this is going to go. But now I can play the river snapper. And I'm going to stick you in the middle. Hi. A friend. 
And then I think that's all I can do for now. I can't draw another card. And I don't have enough for a wolf, so... Ding! And I did one more damage there. You dealt one damage, so I put one weight on the scale. Pass. What are you doing? Is this going to be a situation where he's just going to keep passing? And then when it's like one more hit would take him out, he's just going to like play the Exodia combo or something? I, I, this, I, I don't know what's happening. I'm not going to put the squirrel out yet. I'm going to hold on to the squirrel. I am going to just stand my ground. We got the snapper. This is my strategy for now. There we go. We're getting close. Are you just passing all of them? You're just passing every round? Well, hey, now if I play my two squirrels and then sacrifice both of those squirrels for my wolf, I'm just going to do a whole bunch of damage now. Right? Yes? Yeah. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Yeah, that that was that was a freebie. <laughs> Let me recall your story. But I'm I'm excited to see where this is going to go now cuz I'm I'm not usually very good at strategy. I'm I I say I like puzzles, but I'm really bad at strategy. But this kind of strategy, I think I can think of potential things. I'm having ideas already. I'm excited. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Ooh, hello. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Bum. The single path is going to be this? Yep. Hello. Ooh. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Okay. <gasps> the caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Ooh. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Ah. Uh, I don't actually know which one I want to pick. I don't actually know which one I want to start with. Uh, instinctively, I'm like, well, cat. Cat? But also the idea of repeatedly sacrificing a cat over and over that cannot die feels incredibly horrific, and I'm liking that, like, poison death. But two and one. No, who am I? I've got to pick the cat. I have to pick the cat. I got a cat. Another creature joins your car caravan. I nearly said carnival. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Oh, this is... Okay, yeah, this is already interesting. I think I'm going to... I'm, I'm getting into this. Also, Zarok, uh, you bought Mist and the best thing happened. I'm very curious as to what the best thing is. I would love to know. Sorry, I was I was very much focused on learning how to play the game <laughs> at the start, but I'm glad you got Mist. I'd love that. I, I still need to get Riven. I'm just waiting. Yep, slow and steady, but I know what cat is for. Yes, uh, knife cat. Knife cat time. I think the cat will be okay with it. I'm... Well, it, it's so horrific. The way the stoat was just like, hey, wait, no, no, stop that. Like, pain. Pain. Oh, anyway, I haven't had a hydrate redeem yet, but I want to open my monster because I'm, I'm feeling... Feeling like I need the brain power. Or just the energy in general. But, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. I've got the, the Ultra Fiesta today. We've got the mango one. Mango where? Mango into the, the forest. <laughs> but thank you very much. Okay. Ooh. What is this? 
you came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. O okay. Squirrel in a bottle? Okay. And have a second. Um, th thank you. Um, another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Oh, I can cheat too. Yes. That's good. Great. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay. Okay, so I've got two bottled squirrels. I've got some pliers to tip the scales. I've got a cat. I've got a, a big tortoise. And I've got two wolves. And a bunch of squirrels. I th I th this is going well. Uh, what is this? Hi. Ah! You are, um, uh, you are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Ooh, okay. Oh, you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play, maybe. I get it. You'll help me. Play along for now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, what a... Look, I'm I'm really sorry, Stoat, but yeah, if if you've got a plan, if you're if you've got a, like something going on, I'll play along with it. I'm fine with that. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh. Okay. All right. Wolf cub. Oh, that's gonna be the next round then. And oh, it's gonna be a wolf cub coming between the, the tree stumps. Hmm. I, wait, what does, what does that do? Behold, the rule book. Also, Lumsef, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in, I'm, um, I'm learning. I'm learning, welcome, welcome. The rule book, uh, fledgling. Need I remind you, your cards may help. Shut up, don't need your help. I'm looking at the rule books, thank you very much. Uh, fledgling, a card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Ah, so wolf cub will grow into wolf. I see, that makes sense. Yeah, honestly, creepy eye, um, intimidating person, no back seating. What are you <laughs> Also, Eclipse, hello, welcome, welcome. I don't want to help, I want to perish on my own. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing then wolf cub goes on the board will evolve into wolf. I don't have any wolves though. I've I've got my I've got a squirrel, I've got my cat, and I've got the stoat and a river snapper. Hmm. So having the cat on the board basically means I have like an infinite sacrifice, which seems pretty good. We will see. <laughs> Mods, ban that creepy card guy, right? <laughs> Just blinking at me in the distance. Like, a, show yourself. What do you look like? I don't know what's going on up there. Uh, you a tree? I don't know. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, you'll have to skip most of the stream. You haven't been able to play enough for it to be spoiler-free. Oh, that's completely fair. That's completely understandable, but uh, I'm... I'm I'm glad I can help you get through the games on your backlog. Just like, oh, Larry's gonna play this. Time for me to play it. I hope you enjoy it too, though. Yeah, don't don't spoil yourself on my behalf. I am I am sure if people come and start posting things, I can probably recognize before I read the whole thing and just destroy it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm thinking. Wait, what what does this even do? Rule book. No, I. Okay, no, squirrel in the bottle. To the user, a squirrel is created in your hand. And then what about these? Pliers. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh. Oh, that's, um, I'm not sure I like the description of that. Many lives. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Yep. I like that I have my rule book. Can I look through everything? Oh, what is... What, what's going on here? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I just clicked on the rule book and suddenly there's all this going on. Hmm. 
Mighty Leap, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Can I look through like all the pages of this? What is like, is this a funky, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Brie, thank you. Yes, you, you've got the, you have the sword. You, you wield the sword. <laughs> But yeah, like one of the reasons I was so interested in it is knowing that it's a Daniel Mullins game. Like after how intriguing Pony Island was and some of the other little games I've played by him, I was just like, well, I I know I'm going to enjoy this probably. And that's also why I'm not looking anything up about it. But yeah, I keep meaning to play the Hex as well. It's it's I keep meaning to like get around to playing it at some point. But um, this one took the priority for me in like how intrigued by it I was. But I do want to play the Hex as well. I really want to. Spoilers, but it's just a simple card game. Well, like Bax Eating. Telling me, hey, you should play your squirrel here and then sacrifice it to have your cat and then have your stoat and blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, though. Wait, do I draw a card? At Did I already? Yeah, I already drew the card. Did I? Did I already draw the card? Oh, okay. You cannot draw a card on your first turn. Right, well, the fact that there's a boulder there is a bit annoying. But the- oh, the bot does the boulder protect me, maybe? I'm gonna have the squirrel. And then I'm gonna sacrifice the squirrel to make the cat. I got a cat now. Hee hee hee. And then I can sacrifice the cat to get the stoat? Yeah? I think? I could just get another squirrel. Wait, if I get another squirrel, I can get the river snapper. That would be good. Oh, I don't think I should have put the cat there. I think I should have put the cat like between the, the trees and the boulder to be like out of the way. And then have the river snapper here to block the path. Ah, well, mistakes were made. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the Hex is kind of the awkward middle child because it doesn't have the popularity of Pony Island or Inscription, but it's your favorite. Oh, I definitely need to check it out. <laughs> Should play the gun card. It has zero blood cost and 999 attack. Susan May, I can't believe you would spoil me like that. Um, you're, you're banned, except not. <laughs> what if I just use... Um, in case I see another item. Like, I don't want to have three items all the time. <laughs> I hope that's not in response to me taking the bottle squirrel, because if so, that's a four month bag suit. <laughs> no, but I think what I'm going to do here is I'm taking this because if I find another item along the way, if I can only hold three, I'll probably just like throw one away, maybe? I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is squirrel eight. and cat and eight. Oh, about the cat placement regret. Yeah, that's that's the feeling I felt. <laughs> Not realizing until afterwards, but it's okay because I'm learning. And then I'm going to sacrifice both of those. Like the cat stays, obviously, but then the river snapper, I guess I'm going to put it here. Cat's going to get hit as soon as something goes up here, which is a bit of a shame. But the boulder's going to protect me for a little bit. I miss you, cat. I miss the cat already. Yeah, and I think I... I wait there. There we go. I attack the tree stump. Mind the ambitious wolf club. Wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Yes, it's, it's gonna age up into a wolf soon. Well, I also want a wolf, so thank you for the hydrate too. I'll have a, a sip of my drink. Just seeing the eyes in the background is so uneerie. I'm... Oof. Yeah, I really wish I hadn't put the cat there. That was silly of me. But it's okay. I think what I do is I'm going to wait for the wolf cub to break this boulder. And I'm going to draw a squirrel next time. And then I'm going to summon a wolf. And it's going to be wolf versus wolf. And if I can be the first one to attack, I will win. <laughs> that is my plan. 
What's that? Oh, there's a bat there. Yeah, the bat's gonna take out the cat, I guess. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I was silly. I made mistakes. Mistakes were made. It's okay. Oh, I already drew my card. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go. Like that. Okay, grown up to a wolf now. Oh! The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. I see. Yeah, I... How? Ha! My bat flew right over your cat. Don't... No need for... No need to go woobly like that. No need for that. Oh it's, oh, it's one of the Sundays you have to go before the end. That's fine. That's no problem. I I, I feel like people are decent enough anyway. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well, no, the bat didn't even kill the cat. The bat just went straight for my life and hit me for two. So I really need to take that bat out, but I've made a mistake by putting the cat here. <laughs> hmm. Right. Well, gonna draw a squirrel. And uh, the tree stump's gonna die in a second. I am I think I'm just gonna take that damage from that bat. Which is not nice. Yeah, because I can't attack it because I put the cat there. That was silly of me. That was silly of me. It's okay, I'm learning. I'm learning things. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, this isn't great. This isn't great. I, I need to draw a card first. I, the squirrel, squirrel. The squirrel. And another squirrel. And a wolf. Here. To take out this wolf. And then the river snapper can attack. Oh, I made a mistake with the cat. The cat was, I, I'm learning. I'll bring out the stoat too. God, I wish I could just, wait, can I, hold on. Yeah, no, it won't let me. I guess I'm, d I can at least hit the stump a bit. Here we go. Okay, I, I don't know what your plan is, stoat, but I'm sure we will find out. Um, I think this is where I die. Okay, well, I, I, I balanced it a little... little, little, little no, yeah, I, I died. Maybe I should have used the pliers. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Look, I'm disappointed too. I'm also disappointed in myself. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Whoa! <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, whoa! It's, oh my goodness, it's, it's like a little escape room thing now. What? Hello? Okay, well you want the, the candlestick on the barrel by the door. What if I grab things first? What if I steal stuff? What if I look at the door? Maybe not. Hi. What is... Maybe I can't do anything. Okay, let's... Oh! Oh, I move! I, I need to move more. I, I'm silly. There we go! I, I know how to move. <laughs> oh, There's a clock. Can I change the... I can change the time on the clock. I have no idea what time I would have to make it, though. Ooh. Seeing the table from a different angle. What What do you look like? Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. <gasps> What's this? Oh, it's, it's like in here. I want that. I put the candle out. <gasps> Whoa, hi. Okay. What is this? I don't have a key for whatever this is, but I want it. Um, 
I just put the candle out. I don't know if I should have done that. Oh, what's going on here? Hi. There's little mini figures. Wait, I want to be this guy. Why Why'd you give me like the, the one with the sword and shield? I want to be this guy. Oh, what's this? That's, it's a picture of the table. Hmm. Why it is a pic why is it a picture of the table? Uh oh, since I have the flicker off the light would be flickering. Oh, I turned that off because I didn't know if it would be like epilep epilepsy strobe levels of things. Maybe I should put that on. The flicker effects. I think it should be okay. We'll see. Ah, there. I see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder why it's just a picture of the table. That looks like a safe. Um, nice hand. I have no idea what the numbers I would need for there are either. I've, I've, I want to find clues. There's got to be something here. Can I just, like, leave? Of course I can't. It's locked. Well, there's the candlestick I need. What is this? Oh, what's going on here? Hello, you're holding a little dagger. I would like that. Is there a way I can get that? Hmm. Hmm. I want to look over here too. I want these as well. Nope, I can't use that right now. Sorry, I just wanted to see if I could. No, I guess... I guess I'll just get the candlestick for now. I gotta bring it here. Okay, what if I don't? What if I... Is there anything I can... Oh, what if I light these candles? No, I don't think it'll let me. Use the candles. Maybe not. I, I guess I'll just, I'll just give it to you. There you go. How do I do that? I got it. Um. Put it on the table. Yeah, I put it on the table. Okay, I'm silly. No arson. I'm not setting fire to anything. <laughs> I didn't even want to. I, I don't. I, I didn't say anything. I didn't even want to. Now sit back down. Okay, I'm 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 sitting. I'm sitting back down. I'm I'm here. Hi. Let me explain something to you. Okay. Oh, oh, lives. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Now, where were we? I'm having thoughts. I'm having an idea. Maybe the continue is because I was summoned with the sacrifice of the last person to do this. Hmm. All right, let's continue. Um, after making many mistakes, here we go. I have learned. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, what have I found along the way? The young wolf cub grows into a wolf after a single turn. The, the meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Oh, the flying is good, though. Flying is good. Because the flying was uh, will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Opposing it. Yeah, so I can just go straight to the, the scales, just instant damage. I, I keep wanting to refer to everything in Yu-Gi-Oh turns and that that is fully Xander's fault. That is 100% my brother's fault. I'm just like, oh, so I can damage his life points directly, huh? I have to I have to sacrifice a monster to to summon a new one. Like, I'm just oh oh, ruined. Xander needs to play this. <laughs> and that one Nice. Oh, there's some games that do fun stuff like make in-game safe door codes generate on the first save so you can't just look it up. Yeah, I think that's really cool. 
I like when things do that because then you you have to actually figure it out. Like even if you look up a walkthrough, you'll still have to do like the steps of it yourself. I much prefer that. We deal in teeth here. I got teeth. Ah, oh, some people play this game and narrate everything like a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Oh, I'm ready. You've activated my trap card. Behold. Oh, yep. Here's my cards. I I already have wolves. The wolf cub is nice because of the reduced sacrifice cost. But I think I'm gonna go with the sparrow for the the airborne. Because I already have wolves. What is this? Hi. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. They look extremely creepy. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Oh. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's got to be these two. Well, I'm I'm less attached to the sparrow. I only just got it. Uh, sorry, sorry, little bird. Sorry, little bird, but I'm th the cat. Wait, unless like if I put the cat down, it wouldn't die anyway. Who knows? Ooh. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. What? Pick me. You know what? I did do the stoat dirty before. I trust this stoat. I'm going to pick the stoat. I'm going to do what it says. I'm, I'm going to do what this stoat says. I, I trust it. I don't think things will go badly. All right, here you go. Have a bird. <laughs> what an honor. Whoa! Now my stoat can fly! <laughs> nice. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Cool! My stoat can fly. I like this. Inscription more like subscription, and I like chat. <laughs> <laughs> subscription thank you so much for the resub for 31 months oh my goodness Gigi thank you <laughs> welcome welcome I I just made my stoat fly welcome on in thank you so much for 31 months that's wild it's so very appreciated thank you oh this game is wild so far I'm excited I don't like the look of this though whatever's going on here what is that Whoa! Hello? No? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cars with the airborne sigil. I don't want flying wolves. What the heck? What the heck? Can I break this? Can I break this, please? It's completely insane. You see that, right? Care for the rules. Pathetic, really. That's going really fast. I think I've got to go back and change the settings because I turned text speed up because usually in games I like having fast text speed because then I can just click at my own pace. But when it's like auto text, let's make it slower. Let's make it like that. I'm learning as we go along. We're good. There we go. But yeah, it's this... It's, just to watch you suffer specifically, little stoat. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, you've got a flying bat, you've got a flying coyote. This doesn't look good. This doesn't seem great. Hmm. I don't like this. Well, my stoat can get him. No, but they're just going to go straight for my life directly, right? And the stoat will also go for the life directly. But the rest aren't so great. They both do two damage. This is... How do I even do this? I guess K 
cat's gonna go in the middle this time. I won't make the same mistake again. Cat's going in the middle. And then I'm gonna use my bottle squirrel again. Put a squirrel down. And get a wolf out. In this row to take out this coyote. Like that. And then I could bring stoat out as well. Do I do that? I'm thinking I do stoat in the middle as well. Because these two, like, I'm going to have to have attackers in the, the columns to attack them. Stoat can fly. Come on in. Come on in, buddy. Back on the board. Yeah. And... Let's see how this goes, I guess. Ding. That was a lot of direct damage, and now you're going to do four damage directly to me. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Yep, ow. Even the scales, though. We are balanced. We are pretty well balanced. My stoat's just going to attack directly. My wolf should take out that coyote now. If I could get something else to take out the bat, I don't think I can yet. But I can at least take out one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a card from here. Wolf. Yeah, okay. And end the turn. Taken that out. Done one damage. You're four damage away from winning. Okay, taken two damage again, yep. But I also have my pliers. There's a wolf cub back there, but my wolf should take care of that. And now I get a squirrel. And get a wolf to take care of this bat too. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, I'm learning. I'm learning, card placement. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Love the board games at 3 a.m. vibes. <laughs> it really is. And it's it's great knowing that I'm playing this at night too. Like my bedroom is so dark right now. I've I've got like two lamps lighting my room, so I've got like very atmospheric lighting in my bedroom too. To really fit the mood of the game. And oh my goodness, it's fascinating so far. I'm I'm getting invested already and I'm I'm going so slowly. <laughs> also, Lynn, hello! I am gaming! I'm doing it. Right, so this wolf should take out the bat. This wolf is here to be ready for the wolf cub when that comes up. My stoat is just attacking directly. I think things are going pretty well. So let's see how this goes. Let's see. Did I do it? Oh, it's close. Okay. I'll just pick up the snapper just in case. But, uh, I think... This is enough to win. I think I just win now. I'll, I'll take out the wolf cub, and with the rest of the damage, I'll just... I win? Yeah? I did it! Yes! Ha ha ha! Even with your creepy totem, I still won. Take that. I'm thinking. I'm actually using my brain instead of just slapping cards down. <laughs> This is how competitive Uno gets at the, at the con room parties. <laughs> oh my goodness, Uno is just terrifying. See, this game is nothing compared to Uno. Uno is like the true horror. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Yep. Ooh, I can choose which path I take. Oh, there's three this time three this time. What do we got? There's the adder. The proud wolf. A vicious contender. Ooh. With a little token thingy. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Oh, that sounds really good. I like the idea of the, the skunk stench. Stinky. This creature opposing a card... Uh, the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. 
And then that one is the touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Oh, it's, it's, just, it's just a straight up death thing. That actually seems like it would be extremely useful. So I think I'm gonna go for the adder. Cause like, if there's like something like the river snapper with like six health, having the poison to just instantly take that one out would be very useful. Okay, that's another sacrifice thing. That looks like a campfire. Campfire feels like it would be safety. I don't know if I trust that, but I'm gonna go to the campfire anyway because I've seen what that one does. Boop. Oh, hello. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. I don't know if I trust this. I don't think I trust these people. I feel like they're going to eat my card. Hmm. Yeah, I think the stoat's also not sure about this one. I think they're gonna eat the card, so... I might give them a wolf. Should I go for the wolf? I'm gonna go for the wolf. Can you increase the power of my wolf and not eat it? It did increase the power, okay. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Yeah, I think leaving is the right thing to do there. Hmm, okay. Okay, that's interesting. On to this? What was the spell again? Oh, an event thing. Yeah. There's a way out for both of us. Ooh. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Ooh. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Hmm. There's a way out. Somewhere in the cabin. Hi. Oh, Look at the expression. Oh, I'm I'm so attached to this stoat now. I'm going to be so sad if I have to sacrifice him at any point. <laughs> right, what do we got here? There's a grand fur. Oh, there's a grizzly bear coming. Oh, no. Whoa. Okay, the, the, the tree will block an airborne sigil. So that defends me in the sky. I'm, I need the adder. I need the adder where the grizzly's gonna be. But not yet. I need to wait for the grizzly to get here. It's gonna hit me. It's gonna hurt a lot. But then I can use my snake and take it out. So I'm gonna start with a squirrel. And I'm going to get my stoat out for the airborne damage. And you're going to go like as far away from the grizzly as possible? This spot? You sure? Well, I, I... Do you want me to put you somewhere else? It's too late now. I already put you there. Sorry. I've... Oh, not happy with me, huh? Well, uh, sorry about that. Oh, but I need two sacrifices for the adder may have made a mistake. That's all right. Figure it out. Ow! Yep. That hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sacrifice the stoat again. The stoat is not gonna be happy. Stoat is not going to be happy with me at all. But I gotta do this. I'm really sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. But you'll be okay for the next one. It's okay. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm really sorry. Wow, seriously? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's 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 to take this grizzly out. 
It's okay. I... You'll be back next time? Yes. A serpent perhaps more deadly than man. Okay, my turn. I'm just gonna... Go? Yep. Boop. Single damage. Boop. Another squirrel. End the turn. Another damage. Was it just the grizzly bear? I don't know if something else is gonna come along now. Out of nowhere. And like swoop down on me. <sighs> yeah. I'll put the wolf out. I'll put the wolf out. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay, yep, nothing still. We're good. Let's just... There. Got it. Okay. Got so many... I wonder if that's gonna be important. Like, the over... Like, the overkill. <laughs> All of the overkill is being gathered up. I'm very curious as to why that is being gathered. Right, do I want campfire or do I want... Oh, I don't have... I, I've only got my pliers right now. I think I want items. Oh, I don't like that. So I'm going to take this path. Like this. What do we got here? We got a wolf. We got a sparrow. <gasps> raven! Ooh! The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. I think I'm just going to, like, read the narration normally now because, like, doing the voice for every line is... I simply cannot be bothered. <laughs> I like the look of the raven, though. Three health, two damage, and the airborne. Feels good. Getting the raven. Right, let's see what items we have. A rock! Oh, a rock may get you out of a hard place. Eh hey. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. Oh, and the, the pliers. Oh, I think the boulder. I like the boulder. If a really strong enemy's coming, like, if I'd had this when that grizzly was coming, I could stick a rock in the path of the grizzly. So I want that. Oh, and then I could pick another one? Ooh. I think bottled squirrel. Yep. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carried on? Yes, I, I have I have good items, I think. Alright. Whoa! Hi! The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. Whoa, that's a bit loud. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hi. <gasps> Hello. Yee-haw, t'was the prospector. Hi. He's doing the prospector again. Easy, boss. <laughs> The mule's key. The mule? Okay. Thanks for the advice, Stoat. Yeah, this is a little loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. A little bitty bit. Put you there. There we go. That's a, that's a bit better. <laughs> Have it quiet and ambient. The mule's key. Pack mule. What does that do? Sprinter. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Oh. So will the pack mule end up like on my side of the board if that happens? That's a little terrifying. Um. So that means the pack mule's gonna go here. So I'm, I'm gonna want something here. So 
So, like, if the pack meal's gonna go like that and that, this is a safe spot. I'm gonna put the cat here. Have a squirrel. And cat. Or do I? Or do I get one that can actually damage out first? Maybe I do the wolf first. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> putting the cat out and then I'm going to use the bottle squirrel and I want to get the wolf out and I want to put the wolf here boop boop wolf and I think yeah good start good start okay my wolf's gone wait I've got an idea Okay, I took one of my teeth out. There we go. Hey, I won. <laughs> oh, never mind. Hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, there's, there's two. There's two rounds. I see. Okay. I see. Well, that was horrifying. <laughs> there's gold in them cards. Oh, boy. Whoa. What? My cat. My cat! You just turned my cat into gold! What? Hello? Oh, I don't think this is good. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Cards. We love cards. Heart. <laughs> we love cards. Gotta love them. Oh my goodness. I'm. I'm. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub for 45 months. Miyoko Joe. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Also, Shy Pie. Hello. I forgot to say hi as well. Hi. I'm, I'm getting really into this, but hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to. Wow. I'm. This game is so clever, and I'm already feeling stressed. I feel like this is the kind of game where I'm probably expected to die and it's gonna be like a continue with the knowledge you've learned and do better situation, but I still wanna try my best. Even like this. Cause I can't sacrifice those gold nuggets anymore. That's, ugh. I mean, that one's not going to be here yet. It's going to attack the gold nugget. I'm going to put the stoat in front of the coyote. Going to take a bit of damage, but also deal a bit of damage. I hope you're okay with this, buddy. Okay, you don't seem very happy about it. I know. You're going to have to take the hit from the coyote. It's just so... So I don't take the hit. And... Okay, okay. Get him! Ugh. Yeah, I don't like this. Oof. This is just really bad. I'm <laughs> gonna have to sacrifice the stone again. The stone is just gonna be so mad at me. Oh, unless I just stick a boulder here. No, the stoat's gonna get killed by the coyote anyway in the next round. So at that point, I may as well sacrifice. I'm sorry, you're, you're about to die anyway. It's I, I, This stoat's gonna be so mad. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, I have to.
And this one has three health and is annoying, so I think I'm gonna take this one out. Like that. And so my wolf should be able to kill the bloodhound. I'm still gonna take the damage from the coyote. Oh, unless I stick a boulder down. <gasps> you know what, why not? Why not, I have it. Take that. Okay. Take that, no, there's an adder, no. That's not good. Yeah, the goodbye wolf. Um, oh dear. This doesn't seem to be going great. See, the raven would be great if I had things to sacrifice for it, but I think my wolf is going to die. Yeah, this is... I'm just not doing well. Yeah, goodbye, wolf. Ah, I need a squirrel. I can't sacrifice either of these because they're just items. Yeah, I don't know what I can do here. I'm just kind of... I think I lose this one. I'm just gonna end actually. I'm gonna let the adder just attack directly. Hope oh wait, will that just kill me in one shot though? <laughs> Cause it says when a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Am I a creature? It's not going well anyway, so let's find out. Okay, no, I didn't just perish. Okay, that's good to know. I'm not a creature. <laughs> but it's, um... Oh, I'm, I'm still, like, close to winning, though. Like, I'll get these two squirrels out, and then the raven's gonna attack directly. I may win. I think I might actually be able to squeeze a win out of this. Because if I do that... Yeah, I think, I think it's enough to win. There? Yeah, that's a win? Oh, against all odds. Ooh. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Oh, I'm feeling proud. Oh, and I got my candle back. I defeated the, pros the prospector. Ooh. First try. I'm, I'm proud of myself. It, it just goes to show, like, if you actually think... <laughs> And not put a cat in the wrong place. Oh, I'm, I like this. I like this. This is definitely more puzzle-based than, like, traditional strategy stuff. I love this. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. Ooh. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so bad at decisions. That's a strange lava. But what will it grow into? That could grow into something incredible, maybe? That is uh, child 13. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Oh. Well, I have the cat, so probably not. And then this one, Gek. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Oh. I like the look of this strange lava. I think it's cute. And that's the whole reason. I'm gonna go for this this creature. This little this little blob thing. You, you are my friend now. Welcome. And it's kind of a worm too, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's it's wormy. I I have to go for the the worm adjacent one. <laughs> With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Okay. Hmm. Hmm? The, the rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Lovely. All right, let's take a step. Hello. The river snapper, the stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Oh, the little thing. The watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Oh, I do like that. 
I do like the frog. I do like the frog. And, oh, grizzly! The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its e e efficacy. I think, I think it's efficacy. Oh, that's... Mm, I don't know what to choose. Also, Phelan, hello! And Lyra, hello! Welcome, welcome! You love this game and won't comment on anything. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm really unspoiled for this game. This is nothing like I expected it to be. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't know what I expected it to be either. Like, I, I had no idea. But I am, I love this already. I'm, I'm so, I'm so invested already. Oh, thank you for the hydrate as well, Suzume. I will have some more monster. Strategy brain cells. I'm ready. I really want to go for the grizzly. I I really like the look of the grizzly. Like the the six health four damage is. Oh, but then the bullfrog can jump, jump in the air. Ooh, I'm gonna go for the grizzly. I'm gonna get the grizzly. I'm going for it. Also, Mari, hello. Do I love it yet? Yeah, I do. I do. I am already so hooked. I am feeling incredibly powerful right now. I am feeling very strong and powerful right now because I just won the first boss on the first try and I, I realize it's just the first boss. So it's probably not the hardest in the world, but I'm I'm proud. <laughs> but oh my goodness, this is so fun. Ooh. I used all my items. I'm going to get items. Ooh, a black goat. Its bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. <gasps> Ooh. I'm getting the black goat, because if I draw the grizzly... Immediate bear. In exchange for a goat. Which probably won't have any repercussions, right? Maybe? Better than you did. I mean, the first boss can be tricky with the gimmicks. Yeah, I was I was devastated when the, the gold happened. Like... <laughs> But uh, I, I, I'm getting the hang of how things work. I think, and it's this is so fun. All right, let's. Um, I wonder how many teeth I have. <laughs> I wonder how many teeth I can use. I'm gonna do the squirrel too, cause, just cause pocket squirrel is always handy. All right. All right, we got some tree stumps. Got trees, and oh, it's a frog. It's a frog, but I've got a tree stump in the way for attacking it. Oh wait, how does that work? Because it, it blocks the airborne ones, but can the airborne ones still damage the bullfrog? Hmm. Oh, I have my strange lava too. Hmm. I am curious as to what this little buddy is like. No, I think I'll... Oh, no, I can't draw on the first turn. I forgot about that. <laughs> hmm. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Weird guy. I think what I'm going to do is... I've got the squirrel. I'm going to bring out the strange lava just because I, I have no idea what this is going to be. And I want to see what happens. Uh, let's see how this goes. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, bullfrog. Yep. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Strange pupa. <gasps> no, but there's an adder now. No, 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 no. No, I made a huge mistake. I should have put it behind the tree stump. I'm silly. Oh, what if, what if an adder and an adder go for each other? Hmm. Oh, my strange pupa. Ah, uh, you're gonna grow up and then get killed by a snake. Ah. <sighs> Many mistakes have been made. I'm making all of the mistakes. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, why is there a spider? Okay, goodbye. Um. 
yeah, this isn't super great, huh? I think my pupa's gonna be killed by an adder, but it's... Mm. There's not much else I can do here. Oh, unless I can, like, sacrifice... If I use the squirrel, I can sacrifice that in the pupa and get a raven. Which is airborne, but I don't know if the bullfrog will take the damage from the raven, or if it will just stop the raven from doing anything. Let's find out. One way to find out. Boop, boop. And I'm gonna put you behind the stump so the adders don't come for you. And let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh. No, it, it just blocks it entirely. It doesn't take the damage. Okay, good to know. There's a rattler, hello? Well, um, it's not looking great for me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, I need a sacrifice to do that, and I don't have any any squirrels. Ah, darn it! I for I forgot it was a one. I mean, I could just sacrifice the raven. I just yeah, the raven's not really helpful here. Sacrifice the raven. Get a goat. Sacrificing the goat to get a grizzly to kill this adder. Get it. Of course there's another adder. But it, it'll still do like four direct damage before then. I think. Right. Right. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. I don't have enough to really do like anything. I'm, I may, I may just die here. Let's see, let's see if I die. Grizzly does like the four damage. That at least tips it in my favor for a little bit. I lose my grizzly. I take that much damage. Okay, squirrel. Ha. Ah. What does the rattler do? It doesn't have the poison. So let's get these down. Let's get an adder here to take out the bullfrog. And then hopefully the rattler as well. I'm still gonna take damage. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. <gasps> oh no, yeah, never mind. Yeah, that was silly of me. I'm I'm just doomed now, I think. There's nothing I can do. I think I just die here. Oh, that hurt. Oof. Lost a candle. Ha! Huh. Don't say that. How disappointing. I know, I'm disappointed too. That was awful. <laughs> it's okay. Learning curve. Learning curve. Okay, we got a wolf. A mantis? The Fervid Mantis. Its prying claws strike both to the left and right. And another river snapper. I notice these have like the little figures with them. I wonder if it's because I already have one of them. If, like, I wonder if I should go for one of the ones I already have. But I kind of, I, I really like the look of the mantis. Look at that. I'm, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting the mantis. Okay. What is that? Oops, I didn't mean to... Oh, wait! Wait, can I look around? Oh! I did that by accident. I can look around the, round, the, the room before I do stuff. Oh. I don't know what time I need as the table. I don't know what numbers I need. There's all the little figures. Squirrel with a dagger. How do I get it? Oh, this is so cool. I didn't realize I could walk around. Oh. 
Bonk. I, 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 I feel like I need... There's got to be a way to figure out, like, the time I need here, or, like, the code I need here. Hmm. Wonder if it's, like... Oh! I can see all my cards here. Hmm. Can't seem to do anything else with them. I guess just, like, looking at the... The information. Hmm. I wonder if it's good, like the stuff in here could have. Wait, what was the? Which one had the creepy? Oh, I don't have the. The the blocking one in the air thing, because the page for that was really weird. The page for like the blocking things in the, the air had like the weird. Oh, I can. Wait. Oh, I can just flip through. I'm so silly. Okay, let's let's go to page one. I'm having to look through the rule book now. Here we go. Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Bees within? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health airborne. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn. Yeah, I really want to grow this strange lava. I want to see what it evolves into. Dam builder. When a card bearing this sigil is placed, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power, two health. Hoarder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. Oh my goodness, that's nice. I don't know what the equivalent Yu-Gi-Oh card is, otherwise I would quote it. <laughs> Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. That's good. That's a good defensive one. Fe fe fecundity? Uh, when a card bearing the sigil is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Whoa! Whoa, they just multiply? Loose tail. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the right. Oh, like a like the lizards that lose their tails and they just it just falls off and they save themselves. Corpse eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Whoa. That's wild. Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Whoa! Waterborn. Card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Unkillable. Whoa! When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Yeah, just can't kill that one. Sharp Quills. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Oh! Reflective. Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Oh, a little conga line. Ant spawner. When a card bearing this sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. There's the airborne one. will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Uh, when a card bearing this is sacrificed, it does not perish, like my cat. If a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. <laughs> Just repulsive. Just like, oh, I'm not attacking that. Ugh. Get away from it. Yep, that's the goat one. The worthy sacrifice, the three blood. Mighty Leap. What is this? See, this looks like a dial. I wonder if this is like a time on the clock. Hmm. Or one of the... One of the things for the safe, maybe. Ooh. Bifurcated strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it, like Mementus. Trifurcated strike. Whoa, the three of them. 
frozen away? When a card bearing this sigil perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. <laughs> what? The creature inside? Trinket bearer, when a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. That's cool. That's really cool. Looking through the rule book, yeah, I didn't realize I could just like flip through the pages and now I'm curious. <laughs> so I'm looking through the rule book. I love to read rules, so I know how I can break them. I mean, what? I would never break rules. Steel trap. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. Amorphous. When a card bearing this sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. <laughs> it's like ditto. Tidal lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. <laughs> An Omni Strike, oh my goodness. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. Just That's just full AoE, just everything. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing this sigil gain one power. A leader, that's cool. Brittle, after attacking, a card bearing this sigil perishes. Oh, that's the, the full sacrifice situation. Bellist? When a card bearing this sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. Some of these are so weird. I love those. Annoying. Hey! The creature opposing a card bearing this sigil gains one power. Nice! Stinky. The creature opposing a card bearing this sigil loses one power. So if they're annoying, you're stronger against them. If they're stinky, you're worse against them because you're distracted by the stink, I guess. Like, if they're annoying, you want to hit them harder. If they're stinky, you want to get away from them. Makes sense. Waterborne. A card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Didn't we already have that one? Didn't we already have the waterborne one? Hmm. Uh, what's that? Uh, 30... 37? 37. Okay. Made of stone. A card bearing this sigil is immune to the effects of touch of death and stinky. Nice. Oh, ants! The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. <laughs> will they be like actual physical ants? Because it didn't say like a card value for the ants. I think if I find something with ants, it's just going to actually put ants on the table. Like, actual physical ants. Can I just, like, go outside and grab a handful? And buff myself with just a handful of ants? One half bones. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to half the number of bone tokens owned by the owner of the creature with this sigil. Okay. Maths. Wait, whoa. Oh yeah, these are variable things. What is that? Mirror something? Uh, the own it there, but equal bearing the, the, the... Yeah, I know what the mirror does. Whoa, okay. Bell ring. Represented by something to do something. Card counter? Something? Yeah, I'm not allowed to know what these are, I guess. Uh, spilled blood. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of sacrifices made during your turn. Ooh. So that's going to be make a lot of sacrifices. Boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. What if I just say I'm ambidextrous? Oh, do I just need to, like, if I find a book, can I teach myself to be ambidextrous? Because this is books now. Can I find books? Whoa! Oh, I've got to look for books. Uh, when you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. That's a really nice one. Boon of Goat's Blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Whoa, that's good. Oh, it's boons. It's not books. I, I just can't see. Boons. I want these boons. Boon of the Forest. You will start a battle with grand furs on all of your spaces. No airborne attacks. Uh, you will start a battle with eight bones. You'll start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, and then this is the items. You see boars. Yeah, it's I, I keep seeing like 
I can't quite make out with the the pixelation <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> it's it's okay. I just don't know how to read. Uh, the harpy's bird like fan. Yep, that's as though they're airborne for one turn. Magical bleach. Uh, to the user, my cards on the board will lose all of their sigils. Hmm. Fish hook. To the user, hook one of my cards and take it as your own. You must have an empty space on your side to receive it. To the user, a frozen opossum is created in your hand. A frozen opossum is defined as zero power, five health. Frozen away. Black goat bottle. Yep. Failure. Whoa. Hey. What's this item? Um, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Wow. But what if it does? <laughs> Hourglass. Oh, whoa, that's a skipper turn. That's a skipper turn. That's so good. Your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. Uh, the magpie's glass. You will search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. That's a nice one. Hoggy bank. Aw. You will immediately gain four bones. Pliers. To the user. You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Hold on. Teeth are bones, aren't they? The fact that this guy has been taking all of like the overflow leftover teeth from me is making me think that there's going to be a fight where it's like hey um this is value equal to all of the bones i have and it's going to be like 50 or something and then i may perish wise clock all cards on the board will move one space clockwise Ooh. Uh, you may cut up one of your adversary's cards that is destroyed whoa just destroyed entirely oh oh i want that special dagger you will place a weight on the scales the pain is temporary oh. it's like the pliers squirrel in a bottle yep boulder in a bottle skinning knife uh you may skin one of your adversary's cards it is destroyed and you draw a pelt card i would like that oh and then we're back to the beginning Okay, that is interesting. <laughs> Imagine you play this in a Magic the Gathering tournament. Yeah, just wait for the opponent to do the most valuable card. Even if it's not the most powerful, just the one that's worth the most money. And then just get your scissors out and be like, right, let's get rid of that then. Oh, that's so interesting. I didn't realize I could just read through the rule book like that. Boom, boom. Right, because you, you have a knife. I want this knife. How can I make you let go of this knife? There's a whole little mechanism thing going on here. Hmm. A lot going on out there. There's nothing on the table. And there's the clock. I don't know what time it is. Hi, what time is it, please? And I can't take those. They are wedged in the wall. Hmm. Interesting. Right, I guess I'll get back to it. That's that's enough distraction. <laughs> I don't know which way I want to go, though. Oh, there's s sacrifice. I, I want items. I just really want items, I think. <laughs> also, Cam, hello! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. This is my first time playing this game, and I am already so invested. <gasps> oh my goodness, I was just... I just saw the scissors in the rule book, and I was like, I want that. I, I'm getting the scissors. I'm probably just going to hold on to them until I deem it appropriate. But I'm having those scissors, and I'm also going to go for the black goat. Because why not? <laughs> I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for the, the optimal moment. Oh, I just realized we got the funky... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think it's like, this is more like boss fight. This is like smaller fight. Maybe I shouldn't have come this way. Maybe I shouldn't. It's it's okay. I believe in myself. <laughs> Wrong face. You're one of the, the gleaming eyes. Oh, I've been recommended this game by so many people, and... I can see why. I can see why immediately. I've done like a single boss and I'm I'm already hooked. I love it. 
it's so clever and I can't wait to see how how weird it gets. Anyway, I'm this might go badly. Let's see. I just gotta believe in the heart of the cards. And I think the heart of the cards oh great, it's a snake thing. No, it's gonna be adders. No, I don't want the adders. No. <laughs> I don't want adders. But also Niles Naomi, hello! Welcome, welcome. Believe in the heart of the cards, which I think is probably the stoat. Oh, the bullfrog's eyes are gleaming. What does that do? It evolves! You're making all of the, the aquatic things evolve? You're making all the reptiles evolve? I don't like that. I don't like that. Right, well... I guess I can start with the mantis. I'm just a little worried that if I put the mantis here, there's going to be an adder immediately here. Stop doing that. <laughs> the fingies. Ugh. Honestly, part of me is like, what if I just wait? Bide my time? I'm going to wait around before I do anything. Yep, I knew it. There's adders. There's adders now, but that means when the adders get there, I can then place the mantis down in front of the bullfrog and get him. Right, so I'm I'm going to do this. Oh, of course I got a wolf. I wanted I wanted the stoat or the cat. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Judge, my opponent's showing poor sportsmanship by drumming his fingers on the table. Yeah, it's uh, distracting me. That's cheating. You're not allowed to distract me. <laughs> uh, well, the bullfrog's going to evolve in a turn, and so are both of the adders. I'm going to eat the hit. I think. I'm going to eat the hit for one more round because I have a plan. It's probably not a great plan. Elder Bullfrog. Okay, ow, ow, ow. Wait! Oh, never mind. I just lost immediately. I, I didn't see that. I didn't think that through. I should have put something down. I didn't think they would immediately attack as well as they moved. Alas, it is time for you to pa oh, okay, goodbye. 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 Farewell. Whoa, hi! You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. Why would I do any favors for you? I would like a memento. What? Your very own death card? It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. Okay. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Oh, here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, I'm thinking a one. A cost of one blood from the mantis. And now it's power and health. <laughs> Am I just going to make a, like a broken card? From the grizzly, yeah. Yeah? Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Um... Oh, make it evolve? From this? Oh. Sure, let's... Th this is its first form. <laughs> what am I making? Never did ask you your name. It's Liri. That's my name. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh! Are you ready? Oh, okay. 
You do not need to smile. Ah. Click. Hi. Here we go again. Another challenger. Oh, who are you? I've never seen you before. Hello. <laughs> also, Chimera, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I feel like that, that feels broken. That feels like a broken card. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Oh, yeah. Okay, T tell me about bones. Ooh. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Ah! So it's not just the blood. We're also going to get the bones from them, too. I see. Okay, you're going to play a rattler. Hmm. Wolf only has two health. I don't want to play it yet. I'm going to wait it out and get attacked by the Rattler. Wait. Oh. Mm. No, yeah. I'm going to wait it out and get attacked by the Rattler so then I can play the Wolf and attack it immediately before it can hit me. It might hurt. But I think it'll be okay. Hmm, I'm 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 really like overthinking this now. Cuz now I'm like if I just play a squirrel, I will get a bone when the squirrel dies to the hit from the rattler. And then if I draw another squirrel and I've got my bottled one as well, I can still summon the wolf and the opossum. Hmm. Might do that. Squirrel just a body block. <laughs> Go ahead. Boop. From the death of your creature, you gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. Well, now I'll take another squirrel. And I'll go squirrel. And I go squirrel. Oh, you only take like you have what like one health anyway. That was silly of me. Well, that's fine. Sacrifice those. Play that. Oh, maybe I should have played the I, sh I should have played the possum there, and like that. But it's fine. Mistakes were made. Because if I place the possum, it's only one damage, but it's only one health. So then I'd have three direct with the wolf. But I did it the wrong way around. But I'm still learning. I'm, hi. You okay, buddy? You okay, buddy? I'm not putting you on the field. I'm not going to sacrifice you this time. At least not now, I hope. Oop. Another rattler. Oof. And I'm going to get the stoat on the board. The wolf's going to die, but I'm still doing a bit of damage. Hi, stoat. Good morning. Hi. Are you here? Hello. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no, I just won. There we go. <laughs> Easy. The rattler didn't move forward. I forgot about that. I forgot I attacked first. <laughs> nice. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. Yeah. Oh, do you get bones from that then? Oh, however, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. Oh. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Huh? The hood of what now? Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. It's beside the safe. Hmm. Can I pick a different one? I whoa, what is this? Oh, it's a- Whoa, 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 whoa! 
Hello, this was... That was not covered up. That was covered up before. That was not revealed before. 273, okay. Okay. What is this? <gasps> Stink bug! Hello! Oh, hello! I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. Would ever escape that iron crypt. Is... Is the stoat around? <gasps> the stunted wolf? This madness must end. Whoa! Put that away. Hello? Well, I've seen the stoat. I haven't met the stunted wolf yet. Whoa. And I got a key. Don't mind if I do. I'm guessing that goes in here. Hello? Whoa. What is this? What is this? Also, Shu, hello. Welcome, welcome. What is this? Balance. Hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm going to back away for a bit. I'm going to back away for a second and continue to look around. But, oh, this is interesting. That's so cool. The reward for completing the puzzle, more puzzle. That's, like, my favorite thing. I still want to, I want to pick this guy. I don't want this figure. Wait, it's the prospector! Oh, is it going to be because I beat the prospector? That's my new little minifig, and I continue from after the boss? Oh, wait, whoa, this changed. There's a squirrel and a, and a black goat on here now. This picture was not like this before. Hmm. Okay. About the time. I still don't know what time it is. Right, what is with this? Because it's, it's about balance. Hmm. What happens if I do that? Ding! Nope, nothing. Boop. Boop, boop. One out of five. So what am I making here? I'm wondering if I'm going to have to make it so that they die at the same time. So would it be like this? So this is like three damage immediately. <gasps> hmm. Like that? Two out of five. Right. I think this is going to be about making it so they both hit five at the same time. So like if I start here, this would be like they move up and then they do two damage. Then the next turn they do two damage. Then they do one again. If we start like this, they would do three damage. Maybe, oh, like this. This is it. Because this will do one damage from this side to begin with. And this will do two. And then the next turn, these ones will move up. So this will go to two, three, four. And another two to make it four. And then the last round, they'll all attack again. Will that do it? No, that's only one out of five. That's worse. I think I need to make it exactly five. Like one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. 
Like that? Nope. One out of five. Two out of five. Do I just have all of them in the middle so it's immediately five? Oh, no, I have them this side. It's going to do, do one, two, three, four, five. I think this is a tutorial and I've been overthinking it. And, like, this will just do five damage. Like that. There we go. Yeah, just <laughs> stick them all on my side of the board. That was me being silly. I love to overthink puzzles. <laughs> I got it. I figured it out. Also, Bunny Frog, hello! You do like this game. Oh, I hope you enjoy watching me play it. I'm having so much fun. A typical Liri. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good at overthinking. I always just, like, think about every possibility that could be, and it's always just like, no, you just do the, the straightforward thing. Don't be silly. Anyway, this is Skink. Hello! This is one of the ones with the tail that breaks off. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck. And I'll deal you one every so often. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's look at this one. Yeah, this one's a bit more complicated because of the, the enemies. Alright, this one blocks the airborne. So this is just like straightforward blocking. And these are the ones with the tails that break off. How does the tail breaking off work again? Hold on. I gotta check the <laughs> gotta check the rule book. Where are the tails? What do the tails do? I went the wrong way. <laughs> ah. What do the tails do? There, loose tail. Uh, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing it moves to the right. So what happens if they can't move to the right? <gasps> yeah, no, look here, Waterborne. Number 13, and then it was also 37. That's also waterborne. It's just slightly different. It's a different tentacle. What is the difference? That looks like the same thing. I'm so confused. That's the same. Huh? It's the same. Huh. Hmm. Much to think about. <laughs> right, anyway, back to this. Right, if they get hit and then the tail comes off, if what if they can't move to the right? What happens? Like, what happens if I straight up just do this? Just like this. Oh my goodness, I got a raid! Cassandra, hello! Welcome! I gotta check these raid! Oh my goodness, hi! Welcome! Welcome on in. How's it going? How did the the Pokemon go? Because you were doing the the Pokemon thing with Cal, weren't you? I was, I was lurking for a little bit before my stream. <laughs> I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun. Welcome in, Raiders. How's it going? And Umbryonics, thank you for the follow too. Welcome. You joined right as I'm like deep in thought, in inscription. But uh, welcome, welcome in, Raiders. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I am a not so pink haired cat girl from the UK. <laughs> And I love comfy games and puzzle games. And uh, I'm enjoying a bit of the puzzle right now with the game Inscription. Oh my goodness, Double Raid, you're both raiding me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you for the Double Raid. Thank you. Oh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Welcome into this lovely cozy cabin, which um, it's... Um, th everything is fine um, I may have died but also I'm alive so I think it's okay but uh, oh thank you so much for the double raid welcome on in I hope you had fun with the uh, the souling Pokemon I hope it's going well I was I was lurking for a little bit before I started my stream but uh, I hope you're doing well I love your chibi models as well by the way you two <laughs> the chibis are so cute <laughs> It's so good. I was looking at it like, oh my gosh, look. But uh, thank you for the raid. For anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I am a not-so-pink-haired cat girl from the UK. Because <laughs> I, I dyed my hair for October. So 
my hair is this color until November starts because I'm not going to wash it out. <laughs> But I love comfy games and puzzle games, and I'm currently playing Inscription, which I've been told is a very puzzly, cryptic, weird card game. And so far, I am intrigued. I am so intrigued by it. It's so cool. It's really, really cool. <laughs> Chocolate flavored. Oh, please don't eat my hair. I don't think it would taste good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I've been meaning to play this for a while. Like, so many people have recommended it to me. They've been like, hey, Liri, this is the kind of game you would love. You should play it. And so I'm finally doing it. And it's actually going pretty well so far. I've made a few silly mistakes, but I'm learning from them. I'm learning what not to do, like um, putting a cat in a silly spot. <laughs> but oh, it's so cool. It's such an intriguing game so far. And um, I'm currently just having a little look around the cabin. Because uh, I opened a safe, and now there's a puzzle here, and I want to figure it out. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for the double raid, though. If either of you have to go and look after yourselves after the stream, if you got to go like get some food or look out, have like a rest or get some water, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you do want to stick around, I'm probably going to make many more mistakes as I play this. But it's going to be fun. I'm going to learn. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate it a lot. I'm glad you had a good stream, though. Glad the run is going well. But yeah, it's so intriguing so far because I've gone into this not knowing anything about the game. Like, all I knew was, was that it's like a card game and that's a, that it's a Daniel Mullins game. And that's about it. And I'm so glad I went in so blind because it's, it's already wild. It's already so, like, what is happening? It's great. Oh, I need to have a little lie down, but you'll be lurking. Oh, that is completely fine. Thank you for the lurk. Go have a lie. Go have a lie down. Card game Sundays? Oh, well, I'm I'm not usually a fan of card games. I am I prefer puzzle to strategy. And I think the reason why I like this is because there are so many puzzle elements to it that it's not just like a card game. <laughs> but I, I do puzzle Sundays anyway. It's, it's always my, my aim to be like, okay, Sundays I do a puzzle game which is why I'm doing this one. But uh, there are a couple of other card-based games that look very cool that I do want to check out at some point. But yeah, it's like mostly I'm... It's like with strategy too. Like I usually don't go for strategy because I'm not very good at thinking ahead. <laughs> I'm really bad at thinking ahead. But this game really does feel super puzzly. It's a lot of like learning how things work and figuring out what you got to do. It's less about the strategy and more about solving the puzzle, I guess. But it's so fun. It's I, it's so wild so far. Right, I want to figure this out. Oh, this one's locked in place. But this one can be moved. Oh, wait, yeah. Let me have this one on my side. And then we can attack that immediately and it will scurry off to its right, which will be there, and this one can then kill it. And the, the tail will be left there? Ah, and then... I guess like this. I think this would work. Maybe. No, I think this, because then th when this one is hit, it'll leave the tail behind and scoot to here, and then this one has more attack and can take it out. I think this might work. Let's see. Let's try it. Also, hi, Ever. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you for, for stopping by. Let's see. Does it work? No, that's just a one. Okay. It's these ones with the tails. What if I do that? No, that's still just a one. Right, because this one is always here. Wait, if I do that, this is blocking it? I need to imagine how the turns would go. So, like, if we start here, start with my turn, I just do three and one. And then I'll take that out, and it'll drop its tail and scurry over. But then I've got this that will do the airborne damage. 
Oh, that's the problem with this one. I can't do the airborne damage if this is on the other side. But when it's on this side, I can't... Oh no, because I think then this will scurry over. This might kill this one. But then when it does kill that one, this one will move forward and kill that one. Will that work? No, I'm on two out of five. I think I've got to do it just in one turn. Which is the tricky part. Oh, like this? Yes. Yes, I just don't attack the thing with the tail yet. I keep the space empty so I can do the direct damage. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha! Ants? Ants? Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Okay, I'm getting ants. Oh my goodness. Bring on the ants. Oh, there's more! There's more! Let's do it. Let's do it. These ones with the tails are quite annoying. Right, I've got ants. <laughs> I've forgotten how the ants work. Hold on. Let me go check how the ants work. <laughs> ants, how do you work? Right, because it was like... Additional things. Right? Where were the ants? Ants, here. Yeah, the, the, variable, si the variable sigils. Or variable stats? I can't actually see what that says. I forgot how the ants work. Thank you for the quote. <laughs> so the value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Okay. Okay, whoop. Okay, so I can't get that ant. That ant is on that side of the table, but I can keep all of these ones. If I keep my little little lizard here. Oh, I can't move that one either. Attack. Do the ants attack? Do the ants attack? That is the question. Also, thank you for the posture check and hydrate. We have a big stretch. Ugh. Oh, I need to sit up straight. I'm, I'm like leaning in towards my computer at the moment. <laughs> I'm like fully like leaned forwards. Like I'm not shrimping. I'm just like engrossed in my monitor. My monitor's gonna suck me in or something. <laughs> and thank you for the hydrate. A sip of my monster. All right, that is airborne damage. I don't want the enemy to be doing that. Right, this damage is just going to be blocked anyway. That's that's fine. That's fair. Um, yeah, that one can't move, but I will attack it. Will that work? Like, the, the two, two, one, and then these two are just taking each other out? Oh, will the tail go across? Hmm. Four out of five. Ah. Yeah, and that one can't move. Is it like that? No, that won't work. It's even worse. I want my ants attacking. One, two, three, four. Five? Yeah. Okay. Got him. The power of the tails. Caged wolf. Ooh. Curious. Also, yes, I would love to know what you did in Mist. What, what happened? <laughs> I'm glad you got Mist. I hope you've been enjoying it. A curious caged wolf. I feel like I've seen one of those in the room. Curious. Like, here this oh i can't do anything because i've got my little prospector thing i guess hmm and there's still one more and this has got like the mantis ones oh and the one reflective damage okay that one can't be moved hmm
Bum, 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 bum. Will I take damage from that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't, I can't move this one. Okay. Oh no, that should still be okay. Cause like this one will lose its tail and move over here. So it will block like one of them, but then it's one, two, three, four off that way, five off that way. That should do it. That should do it. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, that's locked, that's locked. This can be moved, this can be moved. These can be moved. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, so you started it up and it gave you classical random solutions as options. So you chose random and immediately proceeded to not know where to start at. So you accidentally solved a puzzle that led you to skipping like two whole maps. <laughs> oh, see, like the first time I ever play any game, I'm always like, if there's like the classic solutions, I'm always going to do that first. But I love that Mist gives the option to just have like randomized solutions to the puzzles as well. I think it's really cool because it means there's still like the replayability to go back to it. But uh, I hope you're having fun with it. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, it did take me like a whole stream to figure out how to do like pretty much anything because I couldn't figure out how doors worked and I also missed a piece of paper. <laughs> but uh, Mist is one of those games where like when you pick up on the lore and actually get into it, it's so rewarding. <laughs> it's really fun. But yeah, I did spend a lot of my first Mist stream just... Um, not knowing what I was doing and reading a lot of journals, but the journals were interesting. So I'm glad I did them. Right, so this is always here. This is always here. The tail breaks off when this one's attacked and then the enemy itself will go over here. So if I do that, I'll also kill it. I think, maybe. So now at this point, this would just be like a three going up. Three damage. These two would be blocked. A four and a five. That f uh, it doesn't work like that. Hmm. I think because of this one specifically. What happens if I do it like this? Ignore that one. That's just a one. Is it this three and two? Hmm. Right, because this has the reflective damage. I don't know how to balance this. Unlo oh, unless I balance it the other way around. It doesn't actually specify which side has to win. What if I make this side win instead? Because this that would be so much easier to do. One, two, three, four, five. No, okay, no, I have to make this. I have to make myself win. <laughs> it was worth a try. Oh, that will block the tail. Yeah, that'll block the tail. So I attack this way. I don't want to attack into it. And then the, the solid three damage. Nope, that's still a two. Hmm. What happened if I did that? Still a two. Hmm. I want to figure this out. <laughs> I want to figure this out, but I'm still not entirely sure of how everything works. Because this side will go first, right? This is me first, so my turn will go first. Um, that would do one damage. That would do two damage. Three damage, one to this one, but then it will summon a thing here. No. Because this would do too much then. This is three. And that would do a damage to that and one damage there. Four, five. I feel... That's, no. It, 
Oh, I guess because, yeah, when the enemy's doing damage to me too, that that's balancing it back in the other way. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm silly. Of course, because this one's going to be attacking me here if there's nothing in the way. So I just get you to tank the hit and that'll do it? Nope, almost. Okay, yeah, because that's still going to, like, when it gets hit... It's going to move the tail to the side. Ugh. One, two, three. Four, five. Can't move that one down. And it's going to go at six, seven. It's too much. Do I do that? Do I do that? No. Hmm. 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 Tank the three. Tank the three. Don't hit the three. Because that's going to be too much. Maybe. Oh, I swear the sound effects are sometimes pitch like twinkle twinkle little star. <laughs> it's throwing you off. No, this is like the ultimate lullaby. Don't worry, everything is fine. Yeah, because of these being locked in place, this one will always hit this one. And this one... Oh no, if I do that. If I do this, then it doesn't have space for the tail to fall off. So long as I don't move this one forward to hit the two spike ones. Oh, that one will get hit with a spike, but... Will that do it? Nope, that's a two. One, two, three. Four, five. Five. No, it's... Why is it a two? Oh, because you're... Tanking it. Yep, taking more damage like that. Okay. Okay, when this one is hit, it will leave the tail behind and it will scoot off to the right, which is here. So there's a tail here and then the enemy here, which will attack this one, I presume, and take it out. So then if this is in the next turn, this will then take out the lizard one on the next turn. And keep that to do the damage here. This will move up. Oh, no, that'll be there for the next round. Do that. Nope. Hmm. Because, see, I don't want this one here. So that feels like it should work, but it doesn't. Why is that a three? Because this will do three damage. This will do one and one. This will also do one and one, but it'll hit this and bring the tail over. I guess I've got to do that. But then that's going to get damaged by this. Is that one? What do I do with this one? It's not balanced enough. I'm not, I'm not balancing it. How do I balance you? Boom. Boom. I want to win. How do I win this? Yeah, I might leave this one for now. I, <laughs> I think that's enough. Um, puzzle. Puzzle uh, tunnel vision. For now. I guess I should probably put this minifig on the table. Let's, let's do that. Let us continue. Bloop. It is I, the prospector. Right. I want this wolf in a cage. I want this wolf in a cage. I have a wolf in a cage. I have a caged wolf. How do I... Can I get you? Can I get you out of the cage? I got a stink bug now. And a skink. And a worker and ant queen caged wolf. Bullfrog. I've got my stoat. I don't have the cat anymore. I miss the cat. But uh, I've got some interesting cards. 
Oh, the way he looks at me. He just keeps staring at me. Huh. Right. Hold on. I'm gonna have a quick look in the, <laughs> the rules again. I wanna see what the symbols do again there. Yeah. Uh, once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Which is one of them. And then the other one, loose tail. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Yep. The tail and then move to the right. So I think having something in the way to block it from moving to the right would be a good approach. But the problem is the thing that would block it is the spike one, so I need to make sure I don't hit that. But then this one's just going to hit for one damage. Oh, but I guess at that point I just figure out how to do six. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Then I am getting hit for one. So then it's it's down to three again, isn't it? Is that three? No, it's two even. It's even worse. <laughs> hmm. Although I guess one, two, three. Hit that one. Four. Five. That will still hit me for one. It'll hit this one for one. Then I'll attack the... Oh. That's three. We're at a three. Hmm. If I do that... No. Oh. Like, that one will hit me again if I do that. But then I'll take it out? No, I'm, I'm down to two now. I'm getting worse. Right, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm missing here because th this feels like something I should be able to solve. I want to solve this. <laughs> ah. Right, one at a time. This will always hit this and make it leave a tail there and come over here. So then I'm doing one damage in this direction. Two, three, four. No, five. Isn't it just... Nope, that's a two. I don't know why that's a two. Ah. Ah. No, I, d I don't know. I'll, I'll come back to it. I think, like, the longer I look at it and try to do the same thing over and over, the less likely I am to actually solve it. Let's, let's do some more cards. Okay, what do we got? Coyote! The mega coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs. Six bones. And a cockroach! The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. That sounds really good. But it needs four bones four bones to summon each time. So maybe not that good at the moment when I'm not getting many bones. Ugh, I'm thinking Rattler. Mm, I'm gonna go Rattler. Hee <laughs> You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. I figured that out in before I died. Ah, I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. Oh, thank you, DM. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Um, which which possessions? Um, the things that I've been putting my hands on. <laughs> By any chance? I got a squirrel and a black goat there. Is, is this just going to be like cards that are just for the intention of sacrificing? Is this going to be like the sacrifice board and only the the useless animals who are just there to die will live there? That feels feels sad. Oh, hey. Right, what else is around here? Door's not open, obviously. 
Could I do something with this? Like this little squirrel's holding a little knife. I want it. I want the knife. How do I get that? Hmm. Oh, how do I figure this out too? I I know I need to stop. I need to stop. I must stop. If I I'm, I'm gonna keep going back to it. Like, like yeah, I'll just. I'm just blowing out that candle every time. <laughs> no, squirrels aren't useless. No, don't. don't. <laughs> I love squirrels. I think they are lovely and wonderful. But in the context of the card game, they are they are very important though because you need them to get the more powerful monsters. So they they're actually the the most valuable, right? All right. Anyway, uh, back to here. <laughs> love how I have the escape room game instinct of checking out everything several times. Yeah, I'm 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 not satisfied with just once. I'm like I have to keep clicking. It's like what if I miss something? What if it changes if I try it three times? Who knows? All right, items. I would like some scissors. I would like... I'm thinking a boulder. Yes. To block the way. Right, let's see what this encounter has. <laughs> hey, you again. Indeed friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. <laughs> you got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. Is he in the cage by any chance? But I suppose we are in, we are in deep this time. I bet the other friend is the wolf that is in the cage, and I'm going to have to play it in the cage and get it broken on the board in order to actually <laughs> to actually free the wolf from inside. Oh yeah, your stink bug is stinky. You lose a power. So this one... Oh, that's the airborne one. All right, I want to attack the airborne one. But uh, the coyote's got two attack, which is a little dangerous. There is a- stop! There, there is a boulder there. Hmm. I, I guess I bring stoat out. Like, if I bring stoat here, stoat can take out the sparrow, because the sparrow won't be attacking the stoat directly. Or I can wait until the next round and bring out the stoat to attack the coyote first. That might be the play, actually. Hmm. But then they are... It's going to hit me for three if I do that. Hmm. You know what I'm going to... Oh, no! If I summon a squirrel here... That's a direct attack thing anyway. No, why did I do that? Yeah, the squirrel's gonna stay there. Um, uh, what if I'm just annoying? I feel like being annoying. There we go. Okay, so I'll only take one damage. And then the stoat can also deal a damage, so we're basically even. Total misplay. Well, I shut up! I think it's good, because the sparrow's going to move down here, and then in two turns, you, you kill it. I believe in you. I believe in you. It'll be fine. Um, let's go. Do a damage. Nice. You also do a damage. It's fine. We're even. Uh, get a squirrel. Hmm. I will take one more damage. 
I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna bide my time. One damage there, one damage there. We're okay. I need another squirrel for the wolf. So the stoat will kill the sparrow this turn. Coyote will destroy the boulder, but I'll be able to bring out the wolf and deal three damage. When I do this, three damage from the wolf. And then after the boulder is destroyed, I can then bring out the stink bug. And I think it's okay. Yep, got the sparrow. The tables have turned. The boulder has been destroyed, but... I think even if I do nothing, I will just win. Rattler, that's six bones. Right, yeah, I think if I just end the turn now, I will then just do four damage and win. So I'm just going to do that. There we go! Victory! Got him. Because I'm pretty sure it said I keep the bones. Until I die? I don't know if... I, if they, I might have lost them all for the round. It may just be for the game, but... Uh, I will find out. Oh! Oh, the apothe ap apotheosized goat, the truest offering. Sacrificing it grants three blood. There's a mantis. <gasps> Is that what I look like? Is that really what I look like to you? Well, that's just a broken card, so I'm clearly taking that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, do I go campfire or sacrificial thingy? Doing a sacrifice could be good. The cool sigil slab. It put me in the game. Yeah, I died, so I got a death card. And that was my death card. Oh, the choice is yours. I don't want to sacrifice myself. I might sacrifice the bullfrog. All right, because this is the thing I sacrifice. This is what gets the power. Yeah, I'll sacrifice the bullfrog. And, oop, I'll go. Hello! Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'll give it to the stoat. I, I like powering up the stoat. The stoat is good. I trust the stoat. I will give the stoat the power of, um, what was that one? Blocking airborne sigils. <laughs> That's a good power for a stoat to have. The stoat's the goat. <laughs> yeah, all right. There we go, you can block. You can jump up and block the airborne attacks now. That feels like a good thing to have. And now we have... A, a trickier fight, I guess. Also, Brainiac Game! Hello! Welcome, welcome! I will not give it to myself, because my, my self card in the game already has really good abilities. <laughs> but welcome, welcome! Right, let's see how badly this goes. I, I think what it is, is this is like an encounter thing. This is an encounter with the, the power of totem. So this might not be great. But we'll see. Okay. Yeah, we got flying wolves again. Great. Whoa, but I got me. I got me right off the bat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's flying. That reflects damage. But I do have six health, so. <gasps> Stoat blocks flying damage. Hmm. But I do want to put myself down because <laughs> honestly, this card feels so broken. Like, it only costs one to summon. It's got four attacks, six health, and evolves. Will grow into a more powerful f form after one turn on the board. Like, it just feels broken. 
Therefore, I am definitely bringing myself up onto the board. I'm just trying to decide where. I'm thinking the coyote. In the path of the coyote. Because the coyote's going to keep doing, like, the airborne attacks. So I want to block that. I want to be in the way of that. And then, like... Well, because the, the airborne attacks are going to hit me anyway. But when the coyote moves forward, I can then just blast. <laughs> One hit. The power of Liri. Does it also evolve into a magical girl? I, I, oh, that would be the best. That would be the best. It evolves when you pour a can of monster over it. Uh, please don't pour cans of monster over cards. Yeah, okay, the bones reset every match. That's good to know. But uh, yeah, I think this is my my start. Let's go. Boop. Just starting with four damage right off the bat. Very nice. And I just got more powerful. <laughs> oh, you're going to drop now. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, don't spoil yourself if you want to play it too. Time for you to play it as well. But thank you for stopping in and thank you for the hydrate. This game is so wild. It's so good. I'm loving this. Hmm. The no spoilers rule is making you vibrate and restrain. Yes, you better. You better not. You better restrain yourself. It's the reason why it's there. It's the reason why the rule's there. It's, uh... <laughs> I don't want to be, like... To have people, like, implying things to come or, like, hinting at what's gonna happen, which is why I have it as my pinned message. Because it's, like... I feel like everyone has, like, a different gauge of what they consider a spoiler. But for me, like, if someone stoats. ends 42 up... 42 opossums. <laughs> Thank you! Oh my god, Sparrow, hello! Thank you for the 42-month resub! 42 stoats, 42 opossums, 42, um... Me... Maybe not me. <laughs> thank you so much for the resub. And Brainiac Game, thank you so much for the follow too. Hope you enjoy your time here. But yeah, it's um a, a lot of people have like different things that they consider a spoiler. But for me, it's like if someone's just like, oh, the bit that's coming up is really good. Oh, the bit that's coming up is so badass. Then that kind of like takes away any surprise. Like if something cool's about to happen, if someone is like, hinting at that and implying that then i'm i don't get that surprise anymore the like the element of surprise is gone i'm expecting something cool and that's the kind of thing where like especially in games like this i think it's really important to not have that expectation it's like the fun of this kind of game is definitely going into it blind and not knowing what to expect because oh my goodness i did not know what to expect <laughs> and it's not what i expected at all it's better it's so much better. It's so good. But yes, oh my god, I'm, the next part will blow my mind. What I'm about to say will amaze you. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. But yeah, it's um, it's something that I always have as a rule for mine because like the reason why I play games like this and puzzle games is to have like the fun and the satisfaction of working out the puzzles and getting the solution. And so if someone like hints towards that or tells me what the solution is, I don't get that moment of being able to solve it myself and that is why i have many rules everywhere all over the place <laughs> saying no hints no tips no backseating <laughs> but it means you get to laugh as i do the wrong thing so beautifully every time also gg thank you for stopping in i hope you sleep well i'm glad you could make it because i'm guessing you've played this too i'm guessing you have i would be surprised if you hadn't i feel like i've seen you play it did i yeah I think so. I don't know. I have no memory. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you sleep well. But yeah, it's it's so cool so far, though. There's a porcupine behind the coyote. Well, that coyote's about to die. And if I summon a squirrel, I can then bring in the stoat to block the attacks. So I'm going to get a squirrel. I'm going to go here. I'm going to sacrifice that. I am going to put the stoat here, away from the enemies, to do the direct attack and also just block the airborne ones. <laughs> Fine. Th this stoat does not like any decision I make. Every single thing I do, he's just like, uh, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> 
But uh, then I could bring in the opossum too. I don't know if I should. Oh, I guess if I do... One direct damage, one direct damage. Yeah, I'll stick you at the end. Why not? Let's do that. Kill the coyote. Oh! Hold on a second. <laughs> it's total misplay. <laughs> did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Yes, you did. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. <gasps> That's so good. Yeah, you, you did fail to mention that. That would have been very helpful to know several battles ago. Thank you. Lucky for you. Th thanks. Yeah, I think I'm good here. I think I'm good. Yeah, I just... There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Got him. Ha ha ha. Get that totem out of here. That went pretty well. That looks like a trap. <laughs> I get... I have to... I have to go in the trap, I guess. Uh... Okay. Hi. Oh, yep. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. <gasps> Wait! It said that the trap was the... with the bones. With the bones. I see. Oh, Brainiac, please don't say things like that as well. It's... <laughs> it's, um... It's stuff for me to find out. Like, if, if I got... If I have the wrong idea, that's just kind of funny to have as a misconception. Please don't tell me like game mechanics and things <laughs> there was something uncanny about his appearance but you were quickly distracted by his wares yeah this is gonna be for the excess teeth i got some teeth hi care to look at me pelts i like how he seems to have a mask for every character we encounter along the way very interesting whoa take a pelt free of charge okay see the quality Oh, thank you. Um, well, I, how many of... I've got like six of these. Also, I can't afford the golden pelt. But I could afford a wolf pelt. Or I could just get the free one. I'm gonna go for the free one. Why not? You, you're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. Uh, what if I don't want to? What if I want to keep my teeth? One, two, three. I've only got six. I want I want to save up for the golden one. No, I'm just getting that one. Thanks for your business. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> the man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Aha! Nice. Oh, is this going to be the trader then? That might be the trader. Maybe I should have just bought a pelt. Ah, well, it's okay. Uh, do I, oh, do I want to go to the campfire again? I'm a little tempted. Because it went well last time. It, I did get the power up last time. They didn't eat my wolf. Let's give it a try. Hi. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. <laughs> yeah, no way. Oh, are you saying okay? I could power up the stink bug. Do I want to do that? I don't want to put myself in there. I don't know. I'm a little worried. I might go for the opossum. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the moment when these campfires just end up, like, eating my card. I don't trust them. I don't trust them at all. Also, thank you for the posture check. <laughs> Wait, yeah, let me sit up properly again. Thank you. I have a big stretch. Okay. All right. Um... Hmm. Let's try the stink bug. I don't think they would want to eat the stink bug. 
So let's power up the stink bug. I think, I hope it'll be okay. You're okay? Yeah. The power of the stink bug was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Yeah. You're stronger now. My lovely little bug. Let's see what this encounter is. <laughs> it's me. Hi. Yep. Um, it is you. Hello. Um, why, why did you say that? Do you want me to do something? Hmm. This isn't a great start. Oh no, I can put the, I can put the stoat down here. The stoat can take out the wolf cub in time, I think. I think, yeah, I think it should be okay. Let's try it. Hello, you. There you go. Keep me alive. Okay, I'll try my best. I can't make any guarantees. You know what this game's like. And ding. Boop. Ow. <laughs> it's okay. You still got two health. You're fine. You can kill it next time. Right. Well, I, I don't really have, like, anything I can do with these. I guess a squirrel? Yeah. Oh, airborne! But you're gonna- the stoat's gonna block the airborne! Oh, I'm so glad I gave you that. That's good. Yeah, I think I- I just wait. I wait. Stoat can kill the wolf. Thank you. Okay, another wolf cub there. Please, something good. Okay, a skink. I can make that work, maybe? Yeah, that sparrow's just gonna be blocked the whole time. I don't have to worry about that. Then it's the wolf cub. Oh, but then when this is hit, it's gonna, like, leave its tail behind. Right? Maybe I wait a turn. I think I can take one hit. I'm gonna actually wait a turn strategically. Boop, boop, boop. All right. And... Oh, wait, no, I'd, I'd have to be in line with it to block the attack, huh? Never mind. Right now, I'm gonna get this. Okay, wolf. Ugh. And now I'm gonna play the skink. And the skink can take out the wolf cub. And that will do direct damage. Still not super great. It's still not really looking in my favor, but... Uh, hand every time. Boom. There. The scales are evened, but then I take one damage from the sparrow. That's okay. I can, I can deal with the sparrow damage. Right, what's coming? Nothing's coming. I can just keep doing this. Two damage for one damage. Oh, I can make it better. No, I can just bring the wolf out. If I did the squirrel and I sacrificed the squirrel and the skink, I can just bring a wolf out instead. And do more direct damage, just like that. There we go. Almost there. You can only do one in return. And then, like, just to do it again. There we go! Got him! Hehehe. <laughs> right, now what is this? Trader? Trader? You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Yeah, go for it. I've, I only got the one. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Ooh. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Wait, really? Wait, but these are... Hold on. <laughs> but this is really good. Whoa, look at the elk. 
Oh. Raven egg. That's going to hatch into a raven. Turkey vulture. I feel like having the flying ones would be really good. But I did I did have fun with the grizzly. <laughs> hmm. Kind of tempted to go for the adder. Because the adder with the the instant kill if you do an attack is very good. I'm going to do that. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. Okay. See, the problem now is I'm getting more cards in my deck. But that also means I am I have less chance of pulling the ones I want to get. <laughs> hmm. How many items do I have? I have two items. I could go for one. I could do the... No, I'll do the sacrifice thing because I'm getting so many cards now. <laughs> Am I your choice? No, I'm not going to sacrifice you, Stinkbug. Don't worry. I could, I could give the adder poison to something else. What could I give that to? The choice is yours. Hmm. I don't know if you can have more than one ability. I don't think you'd be able to have more. Hmm. I might go for the ant. Let's make it so that this is a poisonous ant. Oh, or do I do the wolf? Poison wolf. Or the opossum. No, I'm going to do the opossum because the opossum is only two bones. And it's got low damage and low health. So if I can give that the attack, I've basically got an adder, but without having the two sacrifices, I can just do two bones. That's what I want to do. At least at this stage. <laughs> There's probably better options, but I'm going with that for now. And this looks a bit like a boss, maybe. Mayhap. Hello. Oi! Excuse me? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, that's so generous, thank you. The oh, wait! The smoke. The smoke is a card. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. The Prospector! Was the prospector? Hee-haw! Hi. Okay, so after the first round with the prospector, my cards are gonna be turned into gold. So I gotta be careful, I think. What does the smoke do? Ah. When the smoke dies, I get four bones. That's really good. That's very good. Okay, the pack mule's gonna move that way, but the coyote's gonna be that way, so it's gonna block the pack mule. I want the smoke to die. I'll leave the smoke for now. I have an ant. I could put an ant down. Whatever I put down is going to die to the coyote, I think. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe I do put the smoke down. Yeah, I'm gonna put the smoke down to, like, body block the coyote's attack. And then give me four bones. <laughs> Boop. Thank you! Look at all those bones! So many bones. Those lovely bones. Yeah, so now I can get my wolf out? Oh, do I want to do the wolf already? Knowing that when the round ends... 
everything will be gold. Yeah, I think I will. I want to take the coyote out. Boom, boom. Get him. Yep. How many bones? I've already got like five bones. That's very nice as well. Boop. The adder is just... Oh, whoa! Yeah, the adder like instant killed the boulder. I didn't realize it would work like that. I didn't realize an adder could just destroy a boulder like that. <laughs> okay. So I've got six bones now, so I could bring out the rattler and take out that adder. Huh. But if I do, I should probably save that for the next round because... Um... Teehee, everything will be turned into gold, so... Let's get a squirrel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna put the squirrel here. So that the adder doesn't attack me <laughs> directly. It just attacks the squirrel and then I get a bone from it. And I don't know what the pack mule's gonna do. Is the pack mule gonna go to like my side of the board? Oh, no, it just moves to the side. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, that coyote's going to take my wolf out now. Mmm. What's the... I can't see. Uh, I guess... Mmm. Pull. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. Oh, in the flash, the flash. Oh. Well, oh, little stink bug. Well, you you reduce the power of whatever's in front of you. And you can also just kill that pack mule, I think. So, hey, little stink bug. No, I don't want to bring the stink bug out. I don't want stink bug to turn into gold. Never mind. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't think I should eat the damage at this point. Right, it's like... I can't tell. Yeah, it's perfectly even at the moment. Hmm. Because the pack mule's kind of just... It just kind of blocks the way. Oh, wait. So if I take out the adder, the pack mule's going to move over. No, oh, but I, I don't have a sacrifice. I will just do three damage immediately with the wolf. But the thing is, like, I don't want my stink bug to turn into gold. So I'll, I'll just, I'll only take the one? I'll only, t only take the one, I think. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Yeah, wolf's dead, I take one. Pack mule is kind of stuck. And I'm not in a good position. But if I get a squirrel, I can get the workaround. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the workaround over on this side. And I'm going to get the workaround to kill that adder. I will take two damage from that, but I think the adder... No, I'll, I'll take the coyote out. Yes. Then the pack mule will move into that space but I'd rather that than the the adder I think wait what the heck is that wait what is that it's a mole oh it burrows it burrows to take the hit of anything I guess it pops up and just takes the hit oh this isn't going great I'm, I'm doing way worse on this than I did the first time <laughs> You won't allow me to play a card before I draw a new one. Okay, that's fair. I'll, uh, buh, 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 buh. Squirrel. 
Uh. Squirrel to tank the adder hit. That's that's all I'm doing at the moment. I'm I'm buying time. It's not good. I'm not doing well at this. Okay. Well, the mole's gonna like pop up and take the hit from the end. So that's not great. What's the score? I want to see the... I want to see the score. How do I... Well, let me see the score until I draw a card, but I don't know what I want to draw because it depends on what my score is. Uh. Hi! Prospector boss, again. Yep. Mm. I don't want to put down the stoat or the stink bug. I just, I just do not. I'll put the Rattler out. It doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel like I'm going to win this. But at least I took out the mole. Okay, okay, it's, it's even-ish. I can make a difference still. I'll take out the pack mule. I'll deal three damage. I can tip the scales in my favor. Let's get this. It's me! Oh, I'm not putting me down yet. No way. Um, it's like completely even at the moment, but I will tip it my way by just waiting. I'm doing it. Whoa, hello. Whoa? Oh. Oh, that's why it said the mule is the key. Dag it, my mule. Okay, I've got, whoa. That was so worth it. That was alpha. That was so worth it. That was extremely worth it. Oh my goodness. So how much am I on? I guess I'll just take another squirrel for sacrificing reasons. And yeah, I will just win. And it's gonna turn my workaround and rattler into gold, but I'm okay with that. Go on, turn them into gold. It has gold in them cards. Yep, I know. I know. Yep. You've struck gold. You have indeed. And there's a blood hand. But I now have all of this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Do I put myself in? Oh, I need to draw a card first. I think I'm going to put myself in. Like, why not? Let's get me in the fight. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'll put me here so I do a direct attack. And then I'll, like, play something else to attack the, um, the adder. Maybe this alpha that will power me up for four bones. And then I will just do the direct hit and win, right? Without having to do anything else? Yeah? Yeah. No, no, like over the top. No overkill for that one, but I don't care. I won. <laughs> yes. Let me relight your candles. Yeah. I did it. I'm doing it. I wonder if, like, every time I die, I can just, like, super buff my death card. <laughs> Very well. You may choose a rare card. All right. What do we got? There's Child 13 again. There's Gek. Pack Rat. The prudent Pack Rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. That's the one that gives items, right? Yeah, you'll receive a random item as long as your pack's not full. That feels like it could be broken. That could be really, really good. But I do also like the ones that, like, you can keep sacrificing them and they don't die. Although it does feel mean. It, it, uh, I think I'm going to go pack rat. I like the idea of lots of items. 
After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Yeah. Let me see you. To the next spot. The air grew thick with moisture. Yep, I'm in the wetlands. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. <laughs> love how the Gex poses like the one cat meme. No, yeah, I know the one you mean. <laughs> I love it. What is this? Have I seen that before? What is this? You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. Ooh. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials, and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. Okay. Trial of the cave. <laughs> Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first, you will choose a trial. Oh. Well, I'm going to go for the middle one. Ooh. <gasps> the trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. This could go either way. With the way my deck is, this could go either way. I've got a couple of really high damage cards. I've also got some terrible ones. <laughs> oh, I think you need to go now. Oh, that is completely fine. Thank you for stopping in. I hope you've enjoyed the the time you've been here. But yes, thank you so much for, for stopping in. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm I'm certainly enjoying this. Oh no, I just look at them all and then I decide. Okay. Uh, the three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Or they must contain... They must cost at least five bones contained to pass. Which one do I want to go for with my deck? Hmm... Hmm, how lucky am I feeling? Right, because it's like I've got... There's like my card, there's the Rattler, there's the Wolf that have quite high damage. Would it be enough to get four? Because it could just go really terribly and I just get all the worst ones. The five Bones? I, I don't think the five Bones ones. I'm not doing the Bones one. I think I'm going to risk it with the power one. Because I could try and, like, gamble with the sigils. Because I've got quite a few with sigils. There's only four that don't have a sigil on them. But knowing my luck, I will get those four. Hmm. Because it's four power between three cards. I feel like that's more... Oh, I don't know which is more likely. I'll do the damage one. I'll do the power one. Let the trial of power begin. Come on, luck. Luck be on my side. Yes, luck was on my side. <laughs> one from the opossum, four from the lurie, three from the rattler. You have passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... There's an elk. There's a coyote. There's a raven egg. Oh, they can have multiple sigils. Ooh. They can have multiple ones. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Ooh. I like, like, the the burrowing elk that will pop up to take damage if an empty space would be struck. That feels like it could be really, really handy. But there's also just the killer coyote. I don't think I'm going to do the raven egg. I feel like that would just be... Like, it could be cool, but I think it would just be annoying with the moving and having to wait for it to evolve. So it's between the elk and the coyote. I think I'm going to go coyote. <laughs> just because I like the ones where it's just like, you hit them, they die. Yeah. The inhabited coyote joined your menagerie. Nice! Item or sacrifice thing? I've, I've got two items. I'd only be able to get one. You know what? Let's do a sacrifice. Why not? Sacrifice. What are we sacrificing? I'm not sacrificing the stink bug. 
Oh, I could sacrifice the skink and have something else with a tail that will fall off when it's hit. Or I could do the pack rat and see if I could power up a cheaper one to give me an item. Wait. Wait, what if... Because they can have multiple sigils, right? I hope this doesn't over overwrite the, the evolving one. But I don't actually know how this works. So, I guess it's time to experiment. Wow. Yeah, it added it. It added it. Yes. Oh. I'm buffing myself so much. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me later. I, it's very, very likely that it will. But for now, I will enjoy it. That, that, yeah, that wow was perfect. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere. Somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. <laughs> Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Ooh, okay. Well, then. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I love that I have just me as a card here. Okay, well, I need the coyote to block this bee. Th that tree's gonna block that bee. I'm gonna get the stoat, sto stoat even. I'm gonna get the stoat out to block this bee. You're gonna block the bee. Block bee. <laughs> in the house. Yes, I am sure. I'm very, very sure. Don't doubt my wisdom. Nilili Mambo. Anyway, uh, yep. Boop. You're both gonna get blocked. There's so many bees. Oh no, they, it's still just attacked. Oh no, it's a direct, direct opponent attack. Well, that's fine. You can you can kill. You can kill him. That bee's good. I thought it was airborne. That didn't block it. Hmm. No, it did block it, but it still took the damage as well. Okay, no, I get how it works now. Never mind. So it still attacks but like because it's blocked it can't attack me directly so it attacks the thing that makes sense anyway let's get me on the board let's get me right here i got myself a bottled squirrel nice i'll take it so that next time i get another item well, no i'll just win won't i i'll just do I just win? Yeah. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I shouldn't have used the squirrel. Ah, it's alright. Okay, so this is question mark card. This is card with with blood. I don't know if I what does I don't know what that means. I don't know what this means. I don't know what that means. I'm wondering if I go this way just to find out what it's like. Because I want knowledge. <laughs> I want to know more. Like, even if it's the wrong choice, I want to figure out what everything means. I'm going to go this way. You must make a different kind of choice now. Okay. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Oh. Two blood, three blood, bones. Ooh. Let's get a three blood, not two blood. Three blood? Two blood. Because am I going to have to sacrifice some of my cards to get the new card? How much am I willing to sacrifice? Or I don't know if this is just going to be the cost of the card I get. You know what? Whoa! Okay, I got a moose buck. The regal moose, the creatures of the wild make way for it. It's a pushy one. It's a pushy one. Nice. 
A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? <laughs> he knew, he knew I was like expecting to have to sacrifice my own cards for that. You, you worded it like that. You made it seem like it, that was what I was gonna have to do. Don't say what were you expecting with that little smile on your face. I, I mean, like, I presume he has a smile on his face. I can't see his face. He's in the dark. Right, now I, I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Oh, hello! You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Okay. Pick something else. Do what you must. Oh no, the stink bug every time is just like, if you have to sacrifice me, that's okay. And the, the stoat every time is just like, no, not me. Alright, what is like the worst one I have here? I guess the skink. I'm sorry, skink. I, I'm, it's... It has to be done. Ugh. You callously slaughtered the skink. I did. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Who's the Bone Lord? Oh, hi. I've got the boon of the Bone Lord. I will start each battle with one extra bone. Thank you, Bone Lord. Minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Thank you. <laughs> you shook off the viscera of the poor skink and carried onwards. Oh, feels bad. Feels really bad. Doesn't feel good. Right, what are, what are we encountering now? Uh, I'm... I've got a lot of blood on my hands right now. And it's just gonna keep growing. Oh, lucky draw. Yeah, what to have you? Yes. Lucky draw, thank you. Yeah, there's the bee. Right, yeah, because these ones attack... Will attack me directly. Unless I put the stoat in the way. Which I think is going to be the plan. Yeah. We'll go squirrel. And then stoat, you can go here. I will take one damage from the other one. Stop saying it's a bad play. I have a plan. The plan is this one will come across. It will hit you only for one damage, but it won't hit me. And then next turn, I will play the opossum once this ant has moved closer and kill it and that's as far as my plan has gotten now but I think it's pretty good so you can shut up <laughs> oh my goodness stop that not the bees oh my goodness in a raid hello Suzume hello welcome 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 on in how's it going thank you so much for the raid gay wolf raid hi um I don't actually have a wolf in play at the moment I usually have a wolf in my hand, but I don't right now. But hello, Raiders, welcome. I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had fun. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Inscription. I am very quickly learning how to play and I'm still making a lot of mistakes, but I think I'm getting the hang of things now. Um, I've, I've died once already but I've made myself the most cracked death card, which is helping me a lot. And it's going pretty well, I think. I have a plan and the plan seems to be working so far. I have not considered the bullfrog in my plan yet, but I think it can still work. Oh, you finished Upwards Rain. Ah, you cried, then laughed at Yuri Paddle. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you got to play them. Oh, I, I played all of them on Wednesday. It was Wednesday. Yeah, Women Wednesday. And um, it's such a, a, a change in tone between all of the games. It's so funny. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. I also cried at Upwards Rain right at the very end. I actually, I was just sad. Like, I, I don't know why I'm crying right now. No, I do. It's because, insert spoiler here, that's why I cried. <laughs> But yeah, I, I did. I streamed for 11 and a half hours on Wednesday because I wanted to finish all of the games. And I did it. So... <laughs> it was so good. It's such a good game, though. But
but thank you for bringing the raid this way. For anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a not-so-pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And this game is puzzle. It's very not comfy. <laughs> it is completely not comfy. This is a, very much a horror game. But it's so clever, it is so intriguing. I, I still have so many questions. I still have so much I need to learn and figure out. But I think I'm getting the hang of the game. I think I'm doing all right so far. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. And if you have to go rest after your stream or get some food or drink, please look after yourself. But also, I am here. I will be here if you... <laughs> if you want to watch me um, try my best with card games. Anyway, hey, I got a possum. I got the opossum. Hey, Dima. I got a possum and I'm... Oh, no, I need to draw a card first. Oops, my bad. Sorry. I got a possum. And I'm gonna, um, splat this bee with it. Bee get. Right, so with this, I will kill both of these. And then the bullfrog will jump over. And then I'll figure out what I'm doing next round. I, I'll, next turn. <laughs> get those out of here for now. <gasps> There's more bees! Wait, hold on. What the heck is that? Oh, there's a mantis. Ah, uh, great. Okay, let's, let's draw a card. Oh, the caged wolf. Hmm. Ah, oh, see, the bee's gonna move forward first. Oh, but I think the bee is going to attack me directly, and not attack the opossum. I don't know. I don't know how the airborne works actually. It will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. I think the stoat was only getting hit because it was blocking the the airborne. So I think the opossum should survive the bee. Oh, but then you won't survive the, the mantis. Ah, forgot about the mantis. Sorry, opossum. You, you did a good job. But I don't think anything else will work. Stop. The hand. I don't know why the hand gets me. Well, I'll, I'll do two damage immediately anyway. But then my opossum's going to get taken out. And I'll take a damage from the bullfrog and a damage from the bee. So this isn't great. I guess I could stick the caged wolf there. Caged wolf has six health. I could do that. Yeah, if I put the squirrel down, I will I'll only take the damage from the bullfrog then. No, I'll take the the bee damage too. No, that's no good. Hmm. Ah, this isn't great. Oh, do I want to use my scissors? I I haven't used the scissors yet. I, I kind of want to just cut up that mantis card. The mantis is annoying. I'm going to do it. I have my card to give me items. I'm going to... I want to cut this one up. I can't cut it up? How do I cut up your card? Oh, there we go. Bullfrog's out of the way. Not a problem anymore. I guess I can't because it's not actually been played yet, which makes sense. But uh, now I don't have to worry about the bullfrog, at least, and I will deal two direct damage. And at that point, I feel like I should... I'm going to bring in the wolf. I'm going to sacrifice the possum and the squirrel, and I'm going to bring in the wolf right here. to tank the hit of the mantis. I wonder if anything happens, like when the caged wolf gets killed, when all the health is gone. Like, I wonder if it breaks the cage, maybe. Can you be let out? It's very cramped in here. That's what I'm gonna try and see if I can do. I'm gonna see if maybe the mantis can break the, the cage. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, it's not going very well, but it's okay. Okay, yeah, I took the direct damage from the bee. 
There's a beehive. No. I don't want a beehive. No. Well, I guess I just don't hit the beehive. That's probably the plan here. Oh, it's like nothing I can do. Oh, there's, there's a regular wolf. There's nothing I can do here. I'm gonna just take the hit from the bee. But I will also deal damage as the stoat, so it's just gonna be perfectly even. I think. Boop. A beehive's there. That's so many bees, no! Why are there so many bees? All these bees. Oh, I guess I can take both of these bees out. If I bring the wolf in. I'm gonna sacrifice the caged wolf. To bring out the wolf wolf. I can't- oh, I can't draw blood from a caged wolf. Oops, uh, well, um, I guess that squirrel's just sitting there now. <laughs> Oops, um... Well, I- I can't do anything. I'm- oh, I'm gonna get hit for two. And I'll only do one in exchange. Ugh. Ugh, if I can draw a good card, though, I can make it work. Ow. No, my stoat, don't. No, this isn't good. This is really not good. I think my stoat might be about to die. You'll be mad if I sacrifice you again, won't you? I, I think... I think the stoat's gonna get mad at me again if I sacrifice him, but I think I have to here. Because then I can bring out the wolf. And attack with the wolf instead, which feels good. Really could do with taking out that mantis too, to be honest. Oh. No, the stoke can take one more hit. I'm, I'm so sorry you're going to die, but um, it, it's for a good cause. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Well, you, you're going to kill the bee, and then the, the ant's going to get you. But uh, I think it should be okay. Also, Radical Mari, hello! You love Inscription. I'm so glad. I've heard so many good things about it. I've had so many people just being like, Hey, Liri, you need to play this game. You will love this game. Um, they were all very right. They were all completely right. I love this. I love it. I am having so much fun. I'm not making good decisions. But uh, it's going pretty well. How's the game going so far? It's going pretty well. Um, I actually defeated the prospect at first try, which I am incredibly proud of. Because, like, figuring out strategy and how the cards work. Very proud of that. And then I died. And I made the most broken death card. And I, I really wish I could just draw that right now, because that would be really nice. And now I'm in a really bad position with loads of bees. Uh, <laughs> but I still believe. I still believe. Yeah, because these two are going to just directly attack. I shouldn't have put this wolf here. <laughs> I need to take some of them out. I don't want- I don't want to attack the beehive, because the beehive will just create bees. I don't want to create bees. We have enough bees. We've got three bees here already. Go away. Ugh. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do this. And then the stoat can take one more hit. I'm so sorry, stoaty. Stoaty buddy. I'll do that, and I'm bringing the wolf here to take this mantis out. And um, it's- I don't think this is gonna go well, but... Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna take two damage from these. Is it just the two damage? I might just take two damage. I can eat that. I can eat the two damage, I think. Boom, boom. 
yeah, I can I can take that. I can I can tank that much. And ba 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 ba. I I probably need a squirrel right now. Oh, my ant queen's really not worth it. I don't have ants. Oh wait, no. Now I have an ant. Huh. And yeah, well, I'm gonna do three damage with the wolf at least, so that will push it a bit more in my favor. Oh, I'm gonna take one, two, three damage, and then I'm gonna deal three damage. Okay, it's gonna be a perfect even. It'll stay even. I'll stay where I am. It should be okay. Oh no, it was it was actually better than even. Because that one's not in play yet. Wait, I forgot about that. Ha! <laughs> okay, no, it's okay. I got this. I got this. Oh, uh, you're almost at 100% of this game. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't even imagine 100%ing this. Like, the amount of combinations and stuff that must be around. It is so wild. Hmm. Right, yeah, I'll take two damage and then I'll deal three. So I'm I've I've got like a very unsteady norm at the moment. Like I can I can I can probably stagger this out, I think. I can bring the workaround out to tank the hit here, I think. These two might be able to uh, just, just like, take each other out. Um, yeah, I think I just, like, keep going with the, the norm at the moment. Okay. Only one? Yep, I'm, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing the balance more in, in my, in my favor. It's going well. Uh, food is the comfort of life. It never abandons you and always... Food? Um, hi, but, uh, I... Why are you talking about food? Um, I, I don't know if I should be worried that you're talking about how much you love food when there's a board full of bugs and a beehive. But, uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hit the beehive. I think I can just, like, keep going like this. And I will just win eventually if I just keep going. Oh, thank you for pouring dice on my head too. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna roll a d20. I'm gonna roll a d20. Let's see what my luck is gonna be like. Oh, <laughs> dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh, I found it. I went to roll it and I just dropped it on the floor. Right, let's try that again. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I rolled a 13. Unlucky for some, but I think it's lucky because it is higher than 10. It's double digits. That is good luck. I'm I'm happy with the 13. All right, let me roll it again. Let, let's have an advantage. That was a nine. Yeah, we're sticking with the 13. <laughs> Not very good luck to drop it. Oh, maybe it was though. Maybe I was just like warming up the die by rolling it extra. <laughs> Oh, and Grace, no, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you, I hope you rest well. I hope you have a good eep. But I'm glad you're able to make it. I hope you enjoy the, the VOD for whatever else remains too. Also, thank you for the haiku redeem as well, Suzume. The cards haiku. The board is full of bees. I have ants and wolves on here. I think my side wins. <laughs> There's the haiku, thank you. I hope you liked it. Boop. Um, if, I, I think I just, like, if I just keep up this, it's just a steady win. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. And now I win. Just like that. Got it. <laughs> I love it. Nice. Ah. 
Ants beat bees. Yeah, well, if if they have the help of wolves. <laughs> wolves destroy bees with the help of the ants. It was mostly the wolf there. The wolf was doing all the damage there. Anyway, I did it. That was trickier than I thought it would be. But we made it through. Let's see what cards are here. There is a warren. The bountiful warren. It spawns a rabbit when it's played. Oh, I do like rabbits. The river snapper. And the inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. I do like the idea of bees. I am fond of the idea of just having a handful of bees. But what does the rabbit do again? Okay, yeah, the rabbit is no power, one health. But I'm guessing if it's that weak, it probably doesn't have a blood cost. Maybe the, the rabbits are for sacrificing? I don't know. I don't know what the rabbits are like. Hmm. Right. Warren, River Snapper, and Beehive. Also, Re, uh, please, please don't talk about hints and tips as well. It's it's all in the pinned message. Uh, saying that you know the tips and stuff like that that doesn't help me. <laughs> I don't want to know any tips. I don't want to know any hints. I want to figure things out myself, and that's why I have the no back seating rule. So uh, please, please refrain from uh, talking about all the hints you have that you can't share. <laughs> yeah, I, I am fond of the idea of a handful of bees. I feel like it would be great. Like, it depends on if you can look after the bees. Like, if the bees just st stung you, that wouldn't be as fun. But, uh, but bees, bees are nice. Wait, can someone add that as a quote, actually? I really, <laughs> I really like that I said that. <laughs> There's the, uh, the command for adding quotes is in, like, the about section on my page, because I always forget exactly what the command is. But, uh, that, that should be a quote, I think. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'm going to go for the rabbit hole. I'm tempted to go river snapper again, just because it's really good having the the tankiness. Although I could just go bees. You know what? I feel like I've talked about it so much. I'm going for the beehive. I'm getting the bees. <laughs> right. Campfire or sacrifice. What cards do I have? I like how, like, the eyes glow when I've given them, like, the the sacrificial sigils. <laughs> like, when, I, when I've when i given them the sigils, it's making their eyes glow. It's a little scary. But I love it. Uh, no, if, if I did a sacrifice, I don't know which of these I would sacrifice. Hmm. What else is there around here? Maybe I give that puzzle a try again. Maybe I can figure this out. Right, because this is locked here. This is locked here. So that's always going to attack that. And that's always going to drop the tail and go this way. At which point... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, thank you for adding the quote. <laughs> thank you very much. I I like that. All right, that's a two. I I need to figure out how to make this a five. Because the problem is this one with the tail, and then this one with the the pincer attack. Because this is gonna go here and it's gonna attack here, but then that's gonna make the tail fall off. Unless I put this here which will stop the tail thing from happening because there's no space for it to move to. But then that means I can't put this here because I will attack the spike one. I guess I could do that. But I feel like this is exactly what I tried before. And it didn't work. Unless I do like... Unless I do this so I attack that first to take it out, I'll only take one damage. No. Mm hmm. 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 That? 
There, that did it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I managed to even it out. Because I had to actually, like, take the, the damage in return so that I wasn't doing too much over the top. I got it. I got it. Okay. Wait, no. Hold on. There. What's in here? <gasps> Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Will I be able to make my own totems? I want to make my own totems. You've been using totems this whole time. I want to make them. But yay, I figured it out. I'm, I, I was getting so fixated on trying the same things over and over again, but I, I need to like figure out how to even out like to make to make the hits the right amount and that worked i got the one two three four five and then i needed to make sure it doesn't go six so i block it with that nice got him anyway i have a lovely little um carving now don't know what it means but i i have it and now i have to decide where to go next and i'm a little scared and I, oh, if I played Relicta, I don't think I know what that game is. If it's a game you think I would like, I'll have to look it up. But uh, I, I've no, I don't think I've heard of that game. I might have and just forgot the name. But no, I haven't played it. I don't have anything I want to sacrifice at the moment. So, oh, maybe the Rattler. The Rattler's like six bones. I'm just not bothering with that. Let's see if I can. Okay, I can't sacrifice the the rattler. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it's the sigil transformation. Hmm. I'm not so it keeps wanting to make me sacrifice the stink bug and I don't want to. They're a little sweetheart. This bug is so sweet and I really really like them. You know what? Let's sacrifice the beehive and make it so that whenever another enemy is hit, they spawn bees. <laughs> We'll just be passing on the B sigil to, like, I don't know, the caged wolf. <laughs> just stick the caged wolf on to, like, block the path for a while, and then every time the caged wolf is hit, a bee appears. That would be so good. This is so silly. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> wolf that summons bees. <laughs> oh, you'll get to be here for a bit longer. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Another half hour. We're good. Right, let's see what this encounter is. I've got my extra bone from my boon. <laughs> Me again. Hello. Right, squirrel. Stoat. Possum. Wolf. What are Whoa, Kingfisher. Kingfisher has the waterborne one. Oh no. I don't like this. How do I take these out? I don't like this. So they just duck under the water so I can't hit them. And then they pop out and hit me directly. I don't like that. I don't like this kingfisher. <laughs> hmm. I guess I put the stoat to counter the direct hit at least. Oh, but then then the stoat's just going to keep taking hits and then he's going to be mad at me again. <laughs> hmm. Coyote's easy enough to defeat. I do have my possum as well. Oh, I hate that waterborne. Oh, but I guess that means it's good for direct attacks. Like, if I stick a wolf there or something, I will just do, like, three direct damage. In return of, like, one. That could be good. That could be very good. Maybe that's the plan. Right, I'm gonna summon the stoat here to stop this kingfisher from attacking me directly. And he's going to be really mad and he's going to say this is a terrible, terrible choice and I'm really bad at playing card games. And I don't care. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Just said yep that time, okay. <laughs> and now I can summon the opossum, which I am going to wait until the next turn to do it. Because if I place it now, the coyote will attack first and just kill the possum. But if I do it in the next round, I, I will take three direct damage in the first round and then deal one. So I'll be down two. But I think I can make it work. I have a plan. We'll see if the plan works. Stop that. Oop, oop. Yep, they're underwater now. But that means I attack directly. Um... Yeah, I do not like this. I do not like this situation, because now there's a sparrow as well. Ugh. Uh. Oh, I need to draw first. I don't know if... Oh. I'm doing this. It's a rattler. Great. The, the one I wanted the least. Right. The stoat is just going to attack directly. The possum's going to kill the coyote. So, oh, I'm going to take like three damage. And I'm only dealing one. This is bad. What's what's my... One, two, three, one. I, I'll be like... Hanging on by a thread. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try... Oh, I'm not even going to deal the direct damage because of the sparrow. Um, okay, in, in the hopes of buying a bit of time, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Ow. A well-earned point of damage. I <laughs> didn't think you would really do it. You, you think I'm kidding. You think, you think I'm not taking this seriously. I am taking this so seriously. I could not take this more seriously. Oof. All right. What is that? Hold on. Hold on, what is that? River otter! There's an otter! Oh, they're all water ones. Oh, this is annoying. These are so annoying. I hate these water cards. They're terrible. I just need to do damage quickly, I think. I think that's the only thing I can really do. So what I'm going to do is get a squirrel. Squirrel's in. sacrifice the, the possum and the squirrel because the possum will just die and get a wolf instead to do more damage the stoat is also going to die soon but that's not my fault this time it's your fault I don't think I can win this I don't think I win this one because there's so many of these awful direct damage ones Oh, I'm still alive. Oh, no. Okay, what am I at? There's the caged wolf. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. No, I can win. Because they're submerged. My wolf will just attack and I win. I think I win. I think I win. Yes. Oh my goodness, that was... Ugh. I did not like that. That was closer than I would have liked. I didn't think I was going to win that one. <laughs> but I did. I shouldn't have doubted myself. Whew, I'm, I am glad I did the, the teeth pull, though. Right, oh, mole! The omnipresent mole. It burrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. The mantis. And the river otter! Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during your turn. Oh, which do I go for? Kind of want to go for the mantis. I really like the, like, the directional attack. The, the left and right attack. But otters are very cute. I'm gonna go mantis. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my goodness, wait, I've... Oh. Oh, will I be... Oh. I need to see if I can do something. I 
think I can. Yes, mantis power. Directional attack, left and right attack. Or something with high attack. Like the wolf. Wolf doing three damage, left and right. I think I like that. I think that is something I want to do. Wolf attacks both ways now. <laughs> oh, and this looks like a boss. This looks quite bossish. Well, I guess it's time to find out. Is this the, the fisher? It's like the hooks, like angling hooks. Fish on hooks. I didn't... Mm. Let me have a look around the room again before I continue. Right, I open that. There's the door. Oh, why does that rattle? Oh, hi! <gasps> oh. Should I have done that? I don't know if I should be doing this. I don't know if I should be doing this. So I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, can I break the wolf out? <gasps> the skull. There's a skull here. <gasps> I just stole some teeth. That's great. Don't mind if I do. Those are mine now. Oh, I would love to break you out of there. Somehow. Oh, I love that I just stole those teeth. That's great. Can I steal the smoke? I'd like to take the smoke as well, please. I guess I'm not allowed. Don't look at me with those big old eyes. God, what have I done? Why? Can I do anything with these? Like, one of them's just lying over. Hmm. <laughs> There's this. I've got the, the squirrel and the black goat on there. I don't know what time it has to be. I've, I don't think I've seen a time. Hold on, let me let me have a look here again. Yeah, because that was the code for the, the safe. Let me have a flick through. Maybe there's a time somewhere. Look, that's still blocked off. That's still covered in ink. That's still covered in ink. Hmm. Fish hook. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if the boss is going to steal my cards. That wouldn't be fun. Okay, I'm not seeing a time here. Keep clicking on things. Right. Let's get back to it. Let's Let's figure this out. Yeah, it's a boss. One life, but I got the smoke. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Whoa, hi. I am the angler. Go fish. Whoa. I don't like this already. This is gonna be all the horrible submerged ones. Yeah, it's, oh. I'm already not fond of this. Okay, all right. Do I get the stoat to tank some hits? I don't, I don't wanna like keep killing the stoat. <laughs> Because it's going to keep, like, burrowing under the ground for each one. Right. Oh, I guess I can place the smoke down and use that as a sacrifice? Question mark? Maybe? Not sure. Honestly, I think I want to bring the stoat out to stop myself from taking the direct damage. I think the stoat will understand.
Okay, he looks so disappointed. Hmm. I don't like that. Alright, let's see how that goes. One direct damage. You're up here, ow. Which fish? Hard to choose. Hmm. Oh, I'd really love to draw the Lyri card right now. That would be really good. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, why? Why? No. No. You're not going to take my stoat, are you? Hold on. Fresher fish. Easy choose. Yes, go for the squirrel. Yeah, get the squirrel. Yes, that's the one you want to get. Yes. Yes, you're going to hook the squirrel. Don't you dare take my stoat. I will I will eviscerate you. <laughs> Is it going to be like the last card I play each round? It's going to be the one that gets taken. I should have put the rattler down and then put a squirrel. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I don't have enough, actually. I think I only have five. Five bones. Yeah, let's, let's just go with this. Uh... Go on, take my squirrel. Go on. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, you took my squirrel. It's yours now. You've got a useless squirrel there now. <laughs> that actually works for me because now the kingfish is in the back row. <laughs> and the squirrel's just taking up space. That actually works so well. Nice. Oh, the moose bark, no not actually what I need at the moment. <laughs> yeah, if I just leave that squirrel alone, that's just like blocking the kingfisher. Stoat is about to die though, so... Mm. Mm. Yes, coyote. I... There we go. Bring the coyote out. Okay, not hooking yet. Okay. There, yeah. Bit of damage. I'm... Mm, I miss... I miss you, Stone. Uh, mm, stale fish. Hard choose. Hmm. I don't want you to take my coyote, please. How about I draw another squirrel... I play the squirrel and push all of your other cards back again. Will this work? I don't know if this will work. If it does, it will be hilarious. New fish, easy choose. Yep, get it. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Boop. Damage. Oh, there's the first round. First round done. We're back. Oh, cards are back. Uh, go fish. Whoa, what is that? Bait bucket? Oh, you just stuck bait in front? I mean, whatever. Um, I'm guessing if I attack the bait bucket, it's going to have a load of fish in it, and it's not going to work out well for me. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to sacrifice both of these and just put something over here where there isn't a bait bucket and attack directly. Power in numbers, the Ant's Creed. And then I can put another squirrel down there too. Oh, this music's been making you so anxious this entire time and you didn't know why I too took your headphones off. <laughs> it is such nerve-wracking music. It is super, super nerve-wracking music. All right, let's sacrifice that. We'll go for the worker ant. Also, please, I've said so many times, please do not hint towards things that are going to happen in the game. Please do not talk about tips and things to anticipate because that takes away the anticipation from me. Right, anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll just like directly attack with them then. I'm ignoring the bait bucket. I'm not gonna fall for the bait. I'm not gonna fall for the bait. I'm gonna do that. And I think I can... I'll just win. I win. 
yeah, I got it. <laughs> nice. I didn't fall for the bait. Need a light? Uh, yes, please. Can you put that candle, li light the candle again that you blew out before? Please, thank you. Thank you very much. I defeated the angler. Your reward? What do I get? I've got the, the, the Ura Yuli. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. That is wild. Four cost though. Pack rat. I do like the pack rat. And child. Oh. I'm going to go for the pack rat, I think. I like the pack rat. I like the item sigil. Whew. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. <laughs> Dinner would have to wait. Yeah, I'm not eating that. Ugh. <laughs> Bait used to be believable. Hi, Zereo. <laughs> hi, hi. Yeah, cat beats fish. It's that I was actually so worried for that fight with the the water enemies and stuff. It went so much smoother than I thought. Just they they just I just didn't fall for the bait. I just didn't fall for it. Let me think. A frigid just of a frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Ooh. Okay, right. I'm thinking that with that, that's probably a good spot to end the stream at. Because it is uh, 1am. <laughs> it's 1am for me right now. And I hope it lets me save, though. I can save, right? Yes, last saved one minute ago. Oh, I'm glad it does auto save at least. But yeah, I think with that, that is a good spot for me to leave it at to start on next time. But yes, it's, it's pretty late for me. It's 1am. But uh, that actually worked out really nicely timing wise. <laughs> so, oh, this is not Apollo. Thank you for the follow as well. Thank you. I hope you've been enjoying the stream. I'm enjoying it so much. I love this game. This is intense. This is like, it's nothing like what I expected it to be, but I also don't know what I expected it to be. I Like I had no ideas in my head. I knew it was a card game thing and it would probably be twisted and that was it. <laughs> but it's so clever. It's so good. I'm so excited to play more. I'm, I'm gonna be thinking about this until next Sunday. I'm so excited. <laughs> That was so fun, though. Oh, I love it. Next week. Next week, I'm going to go right back in, and I'm I'm so excited. But yeah, that feels like a good spot to leave it at. Like, right after finishing a boss, that felt satisfying. But yes, with that, I shall... Boop. I'll head over to here, and we can find a raid target. Let's see who's around to send a raid on to. Hold on, I left the game open. There we go. But uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I'm so happy to be finally be playing this because everyone who messaged me saying I should play it because it's my kind of game, they were right. They were all very right. It was, it was so much my kind of game. I love it. And like, I feel like there's still so much to discover as well. Like, there's so many secrets in like the little cabin and stuff. I love that you can just walk around and find things. So I'm excited to see what happens like when I inevitably die again. <laughs> when I die next. I'm amazed I, I streamed it for four hours and I only died once. I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing all right at the actual card game part, <laughs> which I didn't think I would. I thought I was gonna be so bad because like my strategy skills aren't super high. But it, it really is so puzzly. It's really, really puzzly. I love it. It's so fun. But yeah, it's it's been so good. Yeah, the cabin is a puzzle in and of itself. It is. It's great. Surpassing Xander soon. Wait, yeah, I'll, I'll learn how to play card games through this and then I'll challenge him to a Yu-Gi-Oh battle. <laughs> no, I, I could not get started with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm, no, thank you. Not for me. Not my, not my idea of fun. Let, let the other people do the card game battles. 
and then let me watch them. That's that's the fun for me. <laughs> but uh, let's see who's online to raid. Who's who we got? Who's online? Oh, there's so many people online. See, this is the time where there's so many people streaming who I don't usually get the chance to raid because of time zones. So now I have the chance and I don't know who to raid. There's so many people. <laughs> who do I raid? Who shall I... Hmm. Shall I raid Nur? I'll raid Neurosis. Nur is great. I feel like um, after getting the double raid from um, Cassandra and Kals, I feel like heading over to Nur's raid uh, stream is like the, the natural progression of that. <laughs> so I'm going to send you over to the lovely Nur, Neurosis, um, a computer virus VTuber who is playing Alan Wake. I love Alan Wake. I'm a... Oh, it's been so long since I played the first game, but I, I love Alan Wake so much. <laughs> so I'm going to send you over Nur's way. Uh, here is the raid message. If you are subbed, we got fire. If you don't, we've got fire. It's to represent the candles. Trust me. <laughs> and I'll send you over to the lovely Neurosis, one of my favorite viruses of all time. And oh, I'm oh, it's so nice seeing Alan Wake again. It's it's the first Alan Wake. It's not Alan Wake two. And I kind of want to replay it myself at some point. Alan Wake has just got such a great storyline to the games. I love it. But yes, I will send the raid over now and blah, 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 blah. I will try and remember how to speak um, words, maybe. <laughs> but uh, with that, I shall go and get some sleep now and I will be playing this again next Sunday at the exact same time. But I am so excited for it. I also have a couple more Halloween-y games to play during the week next week, which I'm looking forward to. And of course, there's Divinity on Friday. But uh, the full schedule will be up sometime tomorrow when I've made it. <laughs> when I've decided what the heck I'm actually going to play next week. Because I have a lot of ideas. I just need to decide what comes first. But that was so fun. I'm, I'm so invested in this already. I'm so glad I'm playing it. <laughs> but for now, time for sleep. Thank you for stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the raid. Thank you everyone for joining me. And mostly for being good, avoiding spoilers and hinty remarks. <laughs> but yes, I, I should go get some rest now. It is 1am. But I, I'm very glad I got to play that. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye!